Dave Landau, and you're watching Andy Smith, the coolest comic book creator around. Just ask his mom. I have. All hail Comets Gate. Bam! 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 How you like that? You go from some heavy metal, blood will spill, Cordrath, to the professionals, the professionals. That's the way we became the professionals. Do, 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 do. That's right. No tips necessary for that singing. Uh, welcome, everybody. It is the professionals. It is movie night. What is movie night? I did a search public domain movies, found one that I was actually hoping would be in the public domain that I watched as a kid. And it is, spoiler alert, it's black and white. And uh, we're going to watch it. I'm going to guess out of all the bros, I'm going to go out on a limb and say maybe one of them has not seen it, but the rest probably have. Uh, let's say hi to some people. Wiley Draws is here. Citizen Ronan. Hello. Neon Detective. Praetor. Randy Howell. Chad Townsend. Uh, Hex Allen Comics. Kevin Thomas. Uh, Andino Palaccio. Probably screwed that up. Skull Nasher. Marcus Kellegrew. And more. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're going to have a fun night. Smokey Concat is here. I need to bring in some bros. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's bring in uh, somebody that likes to bring the thunder in the pain. Oh, that <laughs> Was that me? <laughs> you big that, guy. That lightning woke me up. <clears throat> I'm ready to go. That is the thunder. Because right when, I think, when I think Wraith of God, I think thunder and lightning. And you should. You should. Um, <clears throat> although there is, um, I don't think there's a thunderstorm in the news story, but maybe. Maybe there could be. A little rain, a little John Romita uh, Jr. rain. You Come know, on, man, you got, you got Nosferatu in it, the vampire yeah. looking. You, there's got to be sun. It can't be a sunny day. Hey, the skies are always clear at night in the Midwest. So. All right, well, let's bring in a guy that causes arms, thunder, and lightning, and he is definitely Certified a... badass. That'd be Graham Nolan. Damn, there he is. He's thunder, a... lightning. <laughs> That's right. There you go. And uh, there's only one man for the job. There was only one man for the job. It's Art. It's Art to bear. Back in the 90s when X-Men comics were flying all around and they needed people to fill in ink and they were like, there's only one man for the job and his name is Art Taber. This man. Your right. name was on, your and name was on that everybody. that dude in, in your promo? The guy, uh, you know, who was in his hallway and he says, hey. Oh, Dave know. Landau? Yeah. No. He's, his name's Dave Landau. He's a stand-up comedian that uh, works with Steven Crowder, if you know who he is. Huh? Um. And actually, they, they're doing a fall tour 
and Dennis and I are driving over to see their uh, see him perform in November. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a good cat. He's he's a pretty fine, dude. Yeah, he seemed pretty cool. And uh, last but not least, this guy always gets a standing oh 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 Billy Otucci team sensation. Oh yeah, there he is. And Aaron, today is the great, the legendary Max Shrek's birthday. Is it really? Yes, it is. the, the, the are you believe the first man ever to be filmed as a vampire, and are you believe, in my opinion, the best? He's certainly the creepiest. That's for you sure. Know what? I did see that on Facebook actually yeah. that it was yeah. his birthday. Yeah. What would he have been? One hundred and one hundred and dead. Uh, he was born in like eighteen eighty-seven or something like that. Wow. Well, Art, how old? How, how old would he be? Art? There, Art. Did you go to school yeah. with him? <laughs> They were good. Yeah, they were, they were good. Yeah, yeah, Graham Nolan, tell us about it, Grandpa. <laughs> hey, man, I'm a youngster. I don't know about you. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, there's there's some stuff back then that I'd rather not talk about, and I'm sure he would uh, rather me not spill the beans as well. Yeah. Was it the drugs or the homosexuality? <laughs> well, the one drugs, always, led, to the drugs always lead to the homosexuality. Yeah, right. it always <laughs> does. It always you does. Know that. Oh my God! What We're do we know? You know, today. I haven't heard from Mr. Fraga all day. I don't know if he's joining in tonight or not, or if he, he's he had working. a message. Uh, I, I might have been in our chat. Uh, he said he's about running about fifteen minutes late. Oh, okay. Did say F you. When you when you said the yeah, then he said f you. Uh, I think oh, that was you, Billy. Billy. Oh, that yeah. was me. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that was me. Sorry. Just to uh, just to tease out a little more on the movie, because uh, for everybody watching, the guys don't know what the movie is. We can give Dan. We can shoot the bull for fifteen minutes or so, because the movie is. I'm looking an hour and ten minutes long. Excellent. So, uh, so not a was long this one. Movie in the theater. I would think it was. Okay. Is is was this movie? I can tell you a year. Yeah, was this movie bigger oh, than a bread box? Guess it. Can we try to guess it? <laughs> you or can. Not? Yeah, I can tell you the year. Okay. Right, what year? The year was 1958. 1958. Aaron. Okay. Is this an Ed Wood film? No. <laughs> and it's a movie no one cared about because it's public domain. Yeah. That's was, not true. Was That's Santa actually, Claus in this movie? Uh, no. Okay. Actually, I did a Google search for a specific title or character to see what was in the public domain. And three movies came up. One from 1933, one between that and 1958, and then this one in 1950. Oh, I know, I know the movie. I know the movie. Does it, does it, does it, are there drugs and homosexuality in it? No, this is not Arts Channel. Come oh, on. Minute. Billy's the one who's. I <laughs> keep things clean. How come it's stuck here? Billy, uh, we know about your, you know, heyday in the eighties and yeah, blowing fatties on the roof. Remember you? you yeah, know, I, I tried some stuff. Oh, I know the movie. The movie is Taming the Shrews. Yeah, you're wrong. Taming um, I, I okay, so it makes me think it's some I think sort you of. You meant to say I'm right. Is it the because? Mass? What was what? that? The Queter Mass Project. Uh, no, I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's I what think, the, that's is what this the, like uh, the Shazam the film or giant. something. It's What's like that, a Aaron? Marvel film or a Captain yeah. America serial film or something uh, like that? No, it's not. Too late for that. I Is actually, it a horror film? So here's the funny thing. I actually own it on DVD, but I will be streaming it because it's it's you know public domain on YouTube as well. So I'm just going to do it that way instead. Is Vincent it, Price it, in it? A, a genre. Uh, genre, I would say. I don't know if this the action adventure... Does that work? Mm. It's not science fiction. It's not horror. Is it the is it the echoing man? Hey, I got headphones. So that ain't me. Saying that, but it's, <laughs> it's always you. Is it the echoing host? Is that <laughs> it's it's not I got headphones on, man. It ain't me. Well, echo, I'm echo, muted, echo. Muted, so I was muted while was I just echoing. muted Billy. Do we have an echo now? No. 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 How about now? Hello? 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 No. No. Hello? I think it's one of those, like... Hey, Art, mute yourself things. again. Okay, now say something, Andy. Fuck. Hello. Sorry. Well, it's not... I have 
headphones. It's not that nice. doesn't mean anything in today's Yes, it world. does. It does not mean anything. Not in no, today's because world. Because the speaker Excuse is still in front of you. It can but this, still be feeding back. No, there's no there's no sound coming out of my speakers. If I take these off, I don't hear anything. Right, but the microphone that's picking up your speech is still here's every, here's goes through me. I I have a very expensive blue yeti, so it can't be me. It can't be. Me. Who cares? Anyhow, I'm I like the I like, I like the fly, but it's not the fly. Yeah, that would just got a blue blue yeti, which is even I have better. A, I have a, a black blue yeti. I have a black blue snowball. See, that's the yeah, problem. That's blue. the problem. I don't think. So. Oh, there the he is. <laughs> It's the black snow. Hey, hey, is it the Lone Ranger? It is not the Lone Ranger. Oh, good guess. Good is guess. It's a cereal. It's, uh, the, it's the Frog Boom. It, it what's the uh, what are the time. clues? What's the clues? Uh, the clues are it's in black and white. It's from 1958. It has a running time of an hour and 10 minutes. It's an action adventure, so it's not sci fi. Oh, it's is, not is horror. It, is it a Tarzan movie? Oh, oh it, Graham got it. It is. Oh, it's, it's it's a Herman Bricks Tarzan movie. I assume he was the director. I don't know much no, no, about. No, he's the, the actor. No, it's not. He's not. Uh, it's not Herman Bricks as as no. Tarzan. It's one of my favorite Tarzan actors, but I don't know if we've ever talked about that before. Oh, so Bricks was the best. You know, I I got to do something this weekend that I haven't been able to do since I was a kid, which is I saw three movies in the theater. Wow, I saw uh, two ones. I know one was Jaws. Bucks. <laughs> Jaws, yes, and Ma Top Gun Maverick, which was fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. You, and, bro. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, I didn't get to see it until until uh, this weekend. And then uh, Bullet Train. How'd you like Bullet oh, Train? How was that? Oh, a lot of fun, man. Right. Am I the only person who went and saw Wrath of Khan? Yes. Uh, yeah, I didn't go see it. I didn't, go see it. <sighs> I, didn't, oh, I didn't have time. Covered. It's not my favorite. I saw Jaws. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Are you doing your best uh, Will Shatner there? What, what I, am, I can't believe what you're saying, Greg. <laughs> I can't believe what? it's not your favorite. I can't believe he's saying. How can Wrath of Khan not be your favorite? <laughs> the uh, horrible uh, uh, design of the outfits. Uh, they, I love the outfits. Oh They're my crazy. god! Could they wear fatter <laughs> outfits, more uncomfortable outfits? Well, they're warm, but in space it's cold. It's very it's cold. Not on the Enterprise. They were running space. around in, in in shorts in the original yeah, trailer. Okay, uh, but I like the uniforms, so you're not going to get me on that one. So, what movie is your favorite? Yeah, I, uh, I have the, to chime in. The Ricardo Montalban's hair was stunning. It was Ricardo Montalban. My the favorite Chicago. is the director's cut. Uh, 4K re-released re first movie. The most oh, now it's, and now it's yeah. gone. Boring. You know that it's, Boring. You know that it's All the Esther now? uniforms. Come on. Gold chicks. They, they, uh, it was on Paramount Plus and they said it was leaving September 1st and now yeah. it's gone. No, yeah, it's, uh, it's, being re it's being released on Blu-ray. Oh, okay. Well, great. Yeah. yeah there we go. And actually, it's still on Paramount Plus. Because I I checked my account the other day because I I rewatched it and it was still there and I I hit play and it was playing. Maybe it was cashed in on your system. I went to. Are you talking Wrath of Khan? No, 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 no. Motion picture. Oh. Motion picture. Can we at least oh, agree oh, oh, oh. that Star Trek Five is the worst Star Trek film? Yeah, absolutely. Is that the one with the whales? No, no that's, that's the, the one, one where they meet God. God. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Or is when they went to Earth. Yeah. Yeah. That's Earth, right. You know, yeah, and they came yeah. back cursing on the end of. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, one damn minute, Jim. <laughs> so, how did the kids like Jaws, Dan? Uh, it was it was uh, Harrison, my brother, and my nephew, and uh, they loved it. Harrison really dug it. Uh, sadly, he said he liked Bullet Train more, but you know, uh, what dude, what Bullet Train do? was fun. What, yeah, you saw it too. Oh yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. And and this is what I had to explain to him. I said, you know. It's really tough looking at a material that set standards. Like there was nothing like Jaws before Jaws, and there are multitudes of movies that have used its template to where that original may not seem special anymore. It's special to us because right. it's a perfect movie. Mm -hmm. uh, but to a kid who's seen 10 other movies that have tropes from Jaws, mm -hmm. it's, an, it's another movie. 
Very I saw that picture though. I yeah. saw Harrison's face. I don't know if it was after Jaws, but he looked was, like he was he was on sensory overload, man. Nah, he, he did he, he had finished up bullet train. We saw bullet train first and then saw Jaws after. So oh, I God. think he still might be in bullet train. Mode. Yeah, he was like, Whoa. <laughs> Did you stay in the movie theater all day like the like our grandparents did in the fifties? Yes, that's stuff? what I'm saying. But I paid I paid three dollars each time. You didn't uh, you didn't <laughs> sneak in, huh? Like we used to do back in the oh, day. No, I I got to be a good example for the kid. That's you know? true. Remember That's the cool. old double features? Like uh, oh. I, I saw War of the Gargantuas and Godzilla's Revenge as a double feature. I oh. mean, man, we spent the whole fucking afternoon there watching yeah. giant kaiju monsters kick well, each other's yeah. ass. Yeah, I, I remember so seeing awesome. uh, Harryhausen films that way, like mm. Gold, Jason and the Argonauts, yep. and then like some other one with the Sinbad. You know, yeah. The, oh yeah. You know, in I remember 1973. Seeing, uh, I saw uh, Planet of the Apes first one, yeah. and the last oh. one, Battle for the Planet of the Apes. So I got to see the first one and the last one. I back. think I saw that too, Grant. Oh. Yeah. Did you know, probably yeah. I saw it at the Lido Theater so. in, in, in yeah. uh, Long Beach. I tried to show my kid Conquest, and uh, it, you know, and they're like showing on the future, 1991, and all yeah, that business. Yeah. <laughs> And like they filmed it in Century City, and at the time right. in '72, Century City was like considered like a real kind of cutting edge future, you know. It, it, but but now you look at it, and you're like, dude, that's that's the outside of the mall that I shopped at. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I used to work at a uh, drive-in theater, like movie theater, and oh my gosh, I got to see all those movies for. Uh, free so this is probably late 70s early 80s so you know ridley scott's alien and man that's that's when they called you old man art <laughs> that's what i was just old man art not ancient art yeah that's right yeah. No, well, it's it, funny. It, was, it was great man you had that little old speaker and you hooked it up to your uh oh yeah your window. yeah oh, you have yeah. to tune in or the one where yeah. you have to tune in your radio to use, yeah. you know. Oh, no, that, we that were. Was yeah. later. That was, for you high that was later. Yeah, yeah. The, one, the drive in I went to was that big thing you sat yeah. on your window. Yeah. Which could yeah. break your fucking window if you weren't. Yeah, careful. dude, that was heavy. It probably scratched your paint, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I worked there, man, I had to replace those things constantly. <laughs> they were on some kind of like breakaway base. Yeah. Because those things were constantly getting, because they would keep them hooked up and they would drive off with them. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dragging them. <laughs> Even uh -huh. in 1975, when I was going to those drive ins, that piece of technology was 20 years old. <laughs> I know yeah. those, those sound boxes were all beat up and yeah. stuff. And you're like, I mean, I'm they, just a kid. How old is this place? But the reason they did it is because you couldn't destroy that stuff. Like it was indestructible. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, That's solid true. metal. I went and right, saw guys. that uh, that Italian uh, horror film Zombie at a drive-in. That's the last drive-in movie I think I saw hmm. uh, as a teenager. The one where that that was the you last guys, you guys see that movie? driving theater. It's the last one he saw. That's right. You I went to many more, about. but I wasn't <laughs> paying attention <laughs> to the screen. You old codger, you you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, did you guys see that movie Zombie? No. No. It has this oh. horrific scene where the zombie punches a hole through this door and grabs this woman by the hair and pulls her through the door, but there's this splinter sticking out and it goes right into her eye. Oh, uh, oh. is that an Argento film? Huh? Is that a, a Dario Argento film? It might be. Probably. That sounds like. Oh, you wow. guys. Speaking of uh, Planet of the Apes, it was beneath the Planet of the Apes, and I I, I saw that one before I saw any of the others, right? And so that's the one with that's like depressing. the underground, like uh, people yeah. with the veins and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. That yeah. was that one. The and penis so uh, a friend's Oof. dad brought us to that uh, movie, and I just remember there was that escape. There was that 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 jail cell, and he slammed that one guy because they had the spikes on it. He yeah. slammed that one guy against it, and then you see him like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and I swear, man, that freaked me out. <laughs> They're worshiping the you know, bomb. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, I think now, Graham, you might know this, uh, but there was something about Heston. They wanted Heston back for the sequel and he wouldn't do it, but somehow they had some contractual arrangement where he had to show up or they made him show up and he couldn't get out of it. So that's so they made James Franciscus the star, and they had that one scene at the end with Heston in it where he shows up, but 
I, I thought there was some sort of agreement or something in the contract that allowed them to make him do that. And he did not want to be in the film. So you know, he, he only wanted to be in it if, if they killed, uh, cause he didn't do, he, he, he was against doing sequels okay. uh, in his career. Yeah. So he didn't want to do it cause it was a sequel, but he said he would do it if, if, uh, if Taylor got killed. Oh, okay. So that was the catch then. Yeah. That and was the catch. Plus they paid him through the nose, uh, just for the few hours. Or days. Oh, okay. It's That's worth. what it was. It was okay. worth it. It was yeah, the waste of a perfectly good Nova, too. Oh, that's she true, was, that girl. She was Ooh. smoking, man. Oh, my God. For a while there, I thought she was uh, Raquel Welch, which, by the way, do we have that picture, Andy? Uh, happy birthday, Raquel. Yeah. You pulled it down. You had your screen shared, <laughs> oh, okay. but then you, you took it down. Bless I'll you, Grant. Oh, I'll thank grab you. It. Hey. You want to have your mind blown? Think about this. Okay, remember the, the whole Planet of the Apes thing. You know, the, we the, Taylor and them, they all show up from the past, and they don't know that the planet is Earth. All right? It's right. like 3,000 years in the future. But before the Earth is blown up and beneath the Planet of the Apes, Zira, Milo, and um, uh, the other ape, uh, the Roddy McDowell guy, go right. back to Earth. Cornelius. Right? Cornelius, right. Cornelius. So they get killed, but their baby is born. The baby grows up to be sees her and he changes history at, in battle for the planet of the apes. Cause now humans and apes are living in harmony together. So now that, that, that dynamic is changed, Taylor and all those guys actually survive. Whoa. Cause wow. they didn't get killed. When the, the world so you mean in that future world they're bo they're still born is that what you're trying to say and then they yeah yeah they they never they never go into the future it's a paradox they I was gonna go say out. that's a paradox right there yeah. you're tripping me out bro the best part about the Planet of the Apes movies is they were never uh, conceived as sequels they were always they just made those up as they went along right. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, you know that they, they were they, able oh, to they're all standalone that well. Too. Each one is a standalone movie. You don't have to see any of the others before it. Right. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing that I always found about the Planet of the Ace movies was that after the first one, they kept, and which was a huge success. Oh yeah. But then they would come back with the sequels, and they would cut the budget every single time. They kept cutting the budget. Right. Yeah, and it's like it made no sense to me. If the first one was a hit, why wouldn't you at least pour as much money as you into the sequel as you did the original? But th that was like this entire thing that just kept it. By the time they finished with them, they were basically TV movies, you know, produced as. The and, and the movie. best part about that is when they really needed the budget, like for like battle, you know, where they needed like like armies yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. They had right. like twelve apes, and like <laughs> a couple of humans Gucci. and stuff. Yeah, the, the, the reason the reason uh, they do that is the same reason that a McDonald's hamburger is the way it is now. You know, it's called cost reduction. Mm. You know, squeeze as much profit out as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I got to be tell you something about McDonald's. I haven't I haven't had McDonald's probably five years Good until man. twice I, this summer. Oh wow! And both times the service was awful, um, and they screwed our order up. And it was garbage. It was shit. Mm -hmm. It was shit. So I, I wanted to give him a second chance because I love McDonald's. You know, when you're a kid, oh, let's go to McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 the chocolate shakes, the whole thing. Crap. You Crap. know where I do that? I do that with Hostess. Every once in a while, I have that like, nostalgia and I see like Hostess and I go, I go, oh, man, that would wow. be great. They cost they, reduce those. Oh, my gosh. Those oh, yeah. things suck. <laughs> they taste like well, chemicals hang on, hang on, now. Hang on a second. The, tw the, Twinkies, the Twinkies blow. But the cupcakes are still about the same. I haven't noticed a difference in the cupcakes because I hit those every once in a while. I hit them. <laughs> you, you hit them. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like That's right. I walk by and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I gotta get that. Yeah, I need, I need me some of that cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's something over the years that, that that I don't think has changed. If you could share my screen, Andy, real quick, something I saw Boobies. this weekend at the supermarket. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh no, they reformulated those. They suck now. Well, you got that new one up top. That dude up top's brand new, isn't oh, he? I never no, no, no. Fruit, 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 fruit was like around. Yeah. No, he's been around since we were kids. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, I never heard of that guy. Hey, fruit no, is in Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Andy, fruit fruit is in Pulp Fiction. It's what uh, Damn. Eric Stoltz is eating. Wow. Okay. 
Because yeah. I remember which one, which of you guys are, is really into this and collects these. Bu- is any of you guys into this or no? I, I think it's somebody else. It's Aaron. Aaron, you are, Aaron. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I saw in the supermarket, took a picture of it. In yeah, I'm a chocula guy. Yeah, but I bought when they first came out with those uh, when they had Jim Lee, uh, Terry Dodson, and uh, uh, Dave Johnson oh, do the right. covers. Do covers right? Johnson. I know it's like a swear word, but um, I bought actually a box to try them out, and they were horrible. They're like, <laughs> no, you know how they used to be. You know how Lucky Charms are. Yeah. Like the, the cereal part, not the the marshmallow, but the cereal part yeah. is uncoated, right? Yeah. Right. These used to be uncoated, but now they're like sugar coated or glazed, like the the crunchy parts are, mm-hmm. and they're horrible because there's not enough sugar in there. Right. You have to put <laughs> more. That's right. On it. If you're gonna go chocolate, uh, cocoa pebbles are the best. Oh yes. Oh no, god. Yeah. The other day, they're still they're still yep. fantastic. Agreed. Yep. Cocoa Pebbles, Cocoa years. Rice Krispies, Cocoa Puffs. I'll take them all. And, and you put some Pepsi Zero on those Cocoa Pebbles? Oh, what? I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. So I'm like, are you lactose intolerant? I, <laughs> when I was a kid. Pepsi Zero on my cereal. When I was a kid, mm. there was a, uh, this 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 uh, place I had to go to before school started because there was early birds and late birds. And my brother was an early bird. I was a late bird. So I had to stay at this house of my parents' friends and one of their kids couldn't uh, do milk and they poured orange juice on their cereal. And I, I stuck with me ever since, you know? Well, you know, there are dairy alternatives like almond milk and things like that. I'd say pour a Coors Light into some... uh, (laughs) Pour heavy cream on it. Some beer. There you go. Heavy cream (laughs) Yeah, we 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 <laughs> four, so my mom had like this powdered milk, and oh so no, she would put that powdered milk on. It's mm, not good. Did you guys? No. Do you guys remember the Carnation Instant Breakfast? Yeah, I just yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, My mom used to buy those all the time because we were running late for school. I toss that in there. I'd throw the milk on it, shake it up, and boom! Yeah. Out the door. Out the Your door. <laughs> you could taste the vitamins in it, though. It was like chocolate milk with mashed up. Like center a minute or something. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like iron. Ew. Did you guys used to get tang? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 We, we, still get tang. we, we rarely had tang. like we rarely had actual yeah. orange juice. We were like too poor, so we get these tang that we make our own with the tang and water. Oh, oh my I God. had orange juice in the backyard, and I still had tang. <laughs> did, you, did your kids? See, my, my, my youngest brother is 13 years younger than I am, and he showed me all kinds of, like, snack hacks that I wasn't familiar with. And I was a snack hack guy, but they would make Tang candy. So they would basically mm-hmm. fill a Ziploc bag with Tang, put just enough water for it to get kind of, like, slightly mushy, yeah. leave it for a day, and then it would turn into this hard orange candy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We used to, okay, we used to take paper, like uh, notebook paper. God, we were hard up, man. I'm not kidding. And we'd cut it into little squares. Then you'd take Lifesavers, put them in a, like a little bit of water and boil it until the Lifesavers became liquid. Then you soaked the paper in the, the Lifesaver liquid and then let it dry. And then we would sell these at school for like five cents a piece. Like, like the little papers? Yeah, and you'd suck on them until the flavor was gone. See, now that's cost reduction. That you, yeah, turned, you turned a, a five cent candy into a dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they do that with cocaine. You yeah. <laughs> Bro. Cupcakes. Uh, you know, every kid ate the cupcake, but there was still chocolate goodness in the paper. You oh, would take yeah. the paper, put it in your mouth, and chew it up until it was like a ballus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got all oh. the chocolate out, then you take that and toss it. <laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. Gross. <laughs> Oh, but but you know you're you're talking about lifesavers. The the tropical fruit lifesavers is oh, the freaking best, man. Yeah, I haven't seen those in years. What about I'm razzles? Razzles. Are razzles? Razzles are great. Oh, yeah, they razzles. Ass razzles. Uh, you guys ever get that razzles. wax? Those wax little things that were full of juice or something. Yeah, those those are, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah Halloween, right? Yeah. Those yeah. are deceptive, man. Yeah. Like yeah. You, it's you, like you, those straws of just right, sugar. Yeah. Pixie, mm. sticks. Pixie sticks. sticks. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Pixie sticks. Yeah. How All right, guys, let's yeah. let's watch a movie. Young, let's get this show on the road. Cigarettes too. Uh, we can talk over this. That's the whole point. Yeah, uh, gonna... Dan, have you seen uh, Tarzan from 1958 before? A Tarzan from 1958? 
That says Tarzan from 1960 on it, but no, I have. No, I know it does, but it's. I oh, it's got it Gordon Scott in it. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't, uh, wait a minute. Wasn't Art the uh, oh, chimp handler in this movie? No, Art was the best boy, oh, but it was for boy. other reasons. He was oh, called okay. Sabu then. Or you need wine? <laughs> I think this is the first place uh, a guy named Fatty was met. <laughs> well, to, uh, Max Shrek and the public domain showing of Nosferatu, 1920. Let's go. Is oh, it actually wow. in the public domain, though? Yes, it is. Probably. Billy, I'm going to go get some wine. Thanks. It has Ooh, to be in public domain because they were supposed to destroy it. Now, I will say, Gordon Scott and Mike Henry are two of my favorite actors to play Tarzan. Yeah, Mike Henry is looking awesome. What a shitty yell, though. Yeah. What a shitty yell. Who did the Ron Eli one, Eli one from the television show? That was a good one. Ron Eli did it. <laughs> oh, did he really? He did not. Did he, he really? Oh, you mean did the yell? I mean, did the actual oh, yell? Oh, oh, oh. Elmo I think they Lincoln. Just used uh, Weissmuller. I was thought they really? always used Weissmuller from here out, like from when he did it. Well, that wasn't Weissmuller there. That wasn't Weissmuller. They should have used Weissmuller. It's really sound, kind of a silly yell. Uh, in the books, I figure it sounds more like a roar. Yeah. You know? Not 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 a yodel. Now, like I said, I wasn't kidding. I do own this, and I watched it when I got this cheap a few years ago. The fights are hilarious. <laughs> now, it's, speaking it's, of yodels, how do yodels hold up? What's that? I haven't had a yodel in 30 years. How, how do yodels hold up? Good. Uh, they're okay. Yeah. You used to put them in the refrigerator, remember? And they get yeah. all crispy, and you break out and you eat all the outside first, and then you yeah. shove them in the apart. They're nothing to yodel about. Um, okay. wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I think it's a gong for that one. I guess, now, I guess, is, I is this the first uh, uh, now Gordon, uh, what's his name? Gordon Scott. Gordon Scott. I actually don't know, and it doesn't say on the back of this either. Is he me, Tarzan, you, Jane, in this, or is he speaking fluent English? Uh, it's been too long. I couldn't tell you. Okay. It's been a Later couple on, years. you know, the, he, he started speaking fluent English and didn't have that me, Tarzan shit. I want to say it's a little broken, Man, broken up. The longest intro ever. If this was only an hour and some minutes long, it must have been like a second. Look at that fake snake. Right? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, so well, see, I watched all these on Saturday morning. Like every Saturday morning, Africa, they played a Tarzan the movie. Dark right. But when they, they originally came it. out, right. when they originally came out, they would have had to have been like second feature type. Tapping. Oh, yeah. These were low mm. budget. Yeah. Yeah. Or I hated these movies. Yeah, this is all stock footage. <laughs> Graham it. hates everything. Have you noticed I know, that? man. Come on. No, I love Apple and Costello meet Frankenstein. Oh, that's oh, a great yeah. movie. I love Star Trek. That's Star Trek, Star Trek too. Vicious crocodiles. Oh, alligators. I hate no. alligators. Those, Those are no. crocodiles. It's Africa. What yeah, we're actually dude. alligators, though. They're filming in They are actually alligators. You can tell by the nose. Yeah. The lion knows he must beware. The crocodile seeks the safety of the water. So is that a crocodile or an alligator? That, that was probably a croc. That's an elephant. Yeah. Oh, so that's the guy without a shirt on. The weak, oh, look at that perfectly coiffed hair. And an yeah. awesome jungle's primitive code of justice. In this vast jungle world, justice. Hey, can no somebody like maybe stat zero? Somebody in the in the uh, chat see if um, March of the Wooden Soldiers is in public domain because I think that'd be a great pre-Thanksgiving movie for us. Oh all. yeah! Oh yeah! Like the boogeyman uh, and stuff. Yeah. The kids learning. Come on, kids. So that what was the narrative? But like, why was there a voiceover before? Was it like to catch you up? I'll try again and be more careful. Let's find out what happens to this kid. I was going to say that they both are very styled. He's got a wife, doesn't he? Yeah, James. Hit up some Holy shit, is that there true? There she is. There's There's right. There we go. Bob Gable for four ninety nine says, by the way, Commissioner Gordon from the 60s Batman was the guide in the original Tarzan. That's Learn true. something new every day. Thank yeah. you, Bob. Yeah, Neil wow. Hamilton was a guide in uh, Tarzan. Uh, in uh -oh. She's like, oh my that. god, Tarzan, is that hey, your snake? Look at that. Look at her hair. Who did her hair? Oh, she's, she's, got her oh, she's, got <laughs> she's got Crocs. She's got Crocs. She's got Crocs on. Oh, that's a pretty helpful monkey right there. I know, right? If you can't see it, it's not happening. Yeah, monkey's like, I'm out. And he breaks her leg. <laughs> yeah, crap. It's probably stabs her in the coochie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh it, I was like, what was that? Uh, 
Um, oh, hell yeah. Misery. Look at that it's like a of misery, right? He breaks her leg with the cane. Oh, like, yeah. Hobbles him. So far, yeah. that monkey's more heroic than Tarzan. Hey, oh, Tarzan's not there. You, Come monkey. on now. Thank you. When in Rome. Good messing around with that monkey. Those cheekbones. Prater says Just March of the Wooden Soldiers is copyrighted as Babes in Toyland. But over now, that's right. Wah. Wah. Well, we're gonna react that movie. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. do a, a live action. Now up. we have dinner. Right. Yeah, I was gonna say fry that up, woman. That's right. Remember, death come quick. Sleeping. Thank heavens, Cheetah was here. Yes, Cheetah saved your life. Hmm. Cheetah that snake isn't friends. toxic. I love this. Tarzan speaks broken English, yeah. Yeah. like English English, and the kid speaks like he's from the South. <laughs> hey, y'all. South Africa. Yeah, she's got charm school. Surprise. It's like, uh, Aaron, when you watch Son of Frankenstein, you know, you got these two British parents, and you got this little uh, Danny Donegan, you know, it's like, well, how are you doing? <laughs> Where the hell did that accent come from? <laughs> very oh, south. Hello. Very south <laughs> Romania. Very yeah. south. Never mind. Oh, now. the usual monsters. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie, though. There he is, oh, the boy. back lot of Universal. That's probably a mole right now. Yeah, right? Oh, look at that. Jane, That's right. Wait a minute. He just called her Jane, no, not mom. Yeah, dude. Maybe she's not mom. They're no, she's she's not. mom. And that's because for, uh, Tarzan and this Jane character never married. So they had to bring in boy as an orphan kid. Because otherwise, they were implying these two had sex out of marriage. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. So yeah. boy was an orphan, huh? Yeah. Did yeah, they sleep he, in different? In, did they sleep in separate caves too? <laughs> yeah. One they have to keep ground. one foot off the rock at all times. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go capture an elephant. Now, whatever happened to this chap's career? Anyone know? Uh, what, I do not. He, he was. He was Gordon Scott. Very, uh, he was married to uh, uh, the woman who, uh, who was in um, oh shit, was Vera Vera Miles. Oh, was oh. he really? Yeah, from Psycho. Yeah, yeah, really. Poachers. He was married to her. Damn poachers! He spent some time pumping iron, so I give him credit for that. That kid looks. Yeah, I was going to say this is like uh, this is before they. I mean, maybe I'm talking out of my ass. They didn't have steroids back then, right? They... No, yeah. oh, no these guys were natural. It's yeah. like Steve Reeves, you yeah. know. Yeah, that, I mean, that's I, I'm impressed by that. Now, if you look at Mike Henry, the guy that was doing Tarzan, they were in color and stuff. He used to play for the Rams. Yeah, and that dude was ripped. He was, he was a he was a ripped Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, clap cheeks. <laughs> That's a good beat. <laughs> That's a good beat. You should start rapping to it. What kind of boss man? Boss man, that type animal. How you make hair like that? Stop drum. It would be great if you stop that beat, beat, motherfucker. Do not make war on trappers. Send runner with message to Commissioner Grandini. I will take care of it. Tarzan hunt down trappers and free animals. And kill them. Yes. Oh. And the lead trapper is Gaddy. And then we all eat well. When the Commissioner Grandini. When the... Apparently, Gordon Scott could grow facial hair like Billy because, I mean, the dude's so clean shaven and he's in his jungle. Today. I shaved today, man. There you go. Hey, it's I love these old movies because let, let's spot and see if any of the uh, of of the tribesmen are wearing watches. You ever see those? Like a lot of times, you see right? <laughs> dude's got a wristwatch on and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, he could have traded it. Yeah, the we got Manhattan for a bunch of beads. Yeah, Maybe yeah. I got something for a Rolex watch. Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> a lot of cowboy movies, you see them like, and he's got the spear in his hand. He's got a wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that little accent where it's like, yeah, I killed a zebra. I killed a cheetah. 
So Gordon yeah, Scott well, apparently sad. spent the final six years of his life li living as a guest in the spare bedroom of one of his fans, according to IMDb. Oh, so. But it says only fans. I know, no, I he, know he corrected, corrected it. I, I know he corrected it, but I like to think. I know, right? <laughs> he was shooting some oldie fans <laughs> material somewhere. Oh! Oh, dang. And Tarzan, that, where are you? Wait a minute, he did that in one shot with an elephant? Yeah, one shot, see, baby. It looked like he had a, like a firecracker in it. <laughs> yeah, it did not seem like one of those elephant guns. Elephant guns, yeah. <laughs> now that is not an elephant gun, that dude. It looked like a shotgun. Aww. Oh, look at oh, the little oh, baby. They're going to kill the little guy, are they? Oh, they just orphaned it. Well, now they'll just kill it. They won't be an orphan anymore. Tie it to a tree. Why, Why is, is it, it just it, go kill it, it and it won't be an orphan anymore? You tie it I to did. an elephant. <laughs> I said that. An elephant is a mammal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why is there no a mammal? Why, why why are is there no elephant cheese? Well nobody wants to milk it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you go up to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get under an eight thousand pound animal and try grabbing his teeth. Oh yeah, right. you, you can you just hang there and nothing comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you just have you can swing from one to the other. And then you find out it's a guy elephant. Oh god. Oh, yeah. oh. But he's your Been friend there. for life. Absolutely. Right. He's hung like an elephant. What are they mumbling about? Well, let's see there is one sneer on that guy. Oh, he's pissed. It's a tough life, man, being a poacher. Yeah, a trapper. Come on. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's a trapper, but he shot that elephant. Unless he shot it with a tranquilizer. That's right. Oh, tell them the African sons addled their brains. Buy two command elephants with this. And I'll command their ape man if he ever shows up. Oh, shit. What kind of gun is that, Billy? Or Graham? Uh, it looks like it's a shotgun. It's a double barrel shotgun with a rifle barrel. Underneath yeah, it. Yeah, I noticed that. This got yeah, the three, uh, three holes. So yeah. that's not killing any elephant. Well, it should. Well, it depends if it's a if it's you know the caliber is pretty big. Right. It could, for sure. You got to shoot Finally an elephant the behind the eye by the ear to hit its brain to kill it. That's how you kill an elephant. <laughs> we should do this. Tarzan talks like a telegram. Just said stop. <laughs> He's right though. I go after poachers. Stop. Tarzan, you go. Stop Trump. Do you remember that SNL skit where they yeah. had Tonto, uh, Frankenstein, and yeah, Tarzan? Yeah. <laughs> no. Who played him? Is that remember? Christmas? Um, I think Frankenstein was Phil Hartman. Yeah, uh, Phil Hartman. Oh. We not kill elephant boy. Natasha. They all spoke the same. No, boy, we not kill. Do not belong in this country. Who we'll bring you here? No, stop. No. We belong. <laughs> They speak better English than they're like. They're like you don't belong this in this country, right. motherfucker. No, let's go. Show me how you dance. Oh shit! Oh, oh. 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 this is like deliverance all of a dance sudden. Off. Oh my god! <laughs> you see that show, one me, face? show me how you, you dance. dance. <laughs> oh, this is really racist. Where's Ned Beatty? Enough. Oh. I'm not dancer Masabi Yarkasahi. You should speak with feet. They tell truth. Your tongues lie. Do not be afraid, little one. Tarzan set you free. I love Tarzan stupid right here, man. Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh, no. He's got a blade. Uh-oh. This could be one of those exciting fight scenes. Well, he's pissed because he made him dance. It's Tarzan, oh. son. Never bring a knife to a Tarzan fight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or a stick. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, what was on last uh, the week before last um, was uh, Gunga Dean. Oh, oh yeah, it's a great movie with oh, Harry Grant. Oh, I just yeah. watched that. Yeah, yeah. But if you look, you leave that movie like, wait a minute, the English, they're the bad guys. <laughs> Those, like the supposed bad guys in the movie, they're just freedom fighters fighting for their country against these imperialists. <laughs> And Kipling turned it around to make it look like, you know, you're jaunting around with Douglas Fairbanks Jr. and Wallace Berry and no, oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Harry Grant, Harry Grant, Harry Grant and uh, 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 Victor McLaughlin. Yeah, you Victor McLaughlin. That's right. Yeah. Total freedom. And it's uh, a great movie, but it's like what? Yeah. No one's gonna say yeah, anything. Tarzan just guys. broke that chain. Oh, the, dude, he is we, strong, man. We need Come on, man, to kill this smut bot. That's right. One of you, uh, 
one one of my uh, wrenches. Please kill that smut. Just because there's a bare-chested man on the screen. Wait, wait a minute. It says there I can find love in my town today. Ooh. Oh, today though. Yeah. It's today. Okay. Well, if it, I mean, being that it's short notice, I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you know, call us. And we'll have something for you next Tuesday. It's like today. Today. Yeah. That's quick. Looks like the monkey. That monkey there was toting some love. Yeah, right. <laughs> some monkey love. He's very, very straight up, isn't he? Surprised they didn't put a diaper on those those uh the champs. Well, these guys, these guys have no real animals. plan. Yeah, they what just they drive around and shoot anything that moves. I know, yeah, but there's no rhyme or reason. They're just kind of going around <laughs> killing things. Do you have a permit for that? They get a lot more money for that white kid. <laughs> than, than, than <laughs> I want to see what Cheetah driving that truck. There you go. Cheetah's just letting it all hang out. Oh, they do. Yeah, he's got his monkey wang hanging out, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, dude. He should take a dump in that truck. (laughs) Throw it at him. Throw it at him. him. Nice yeah, yeah, yeah like they do in the zoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'd be funny. They open up the door. And <laughs> <laughs> they take the keys and runs off with the keys. <laughs> so far, Cheetah's the best part of this movie. He best is. actor. He finally smiled. Ah, uh, monkey. Ooh, he does backflips. Cheetah can just jump on those guys, rip their hands off, and tear their faces off. Yeah. And their balls. And, and, their, their, are and their balls. I mean, yeah. Full-grown chimps are gigantic. I know. They're and like eight. Baby, right? I mean, they're like... That woman in uh, Connecticut? Yeah. yeah. What happened? The, the woman in Connecticut, Connecticut had, got her... Had this chimp, and uh, it was her pet, and she loved it and everything, and then one day the chimp went nuts and grabbed her jaw and just tore her off. He ripped her hands off too. Yeah, yeah, ripped her hands off and then like tore her the skin or chewed off the skin on her face too. Because that woman got a face transplant, if I yeah. remember correctly. That's yeah, that's right. But he was like over two hundred pounds, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he was a big boy. Yeah, yeah. These yeah. people that like take wild animals as pets and think that they're never going to turn on them are just insane. I worked on a music video shoot once. It was a Fallout Boy called Thanks for the Memories. And they had live chimpanzees on set. And I've never heard such a loud howl in my life when they let their howl out. Trouble. Loudest sound you'll ever hear. Hmm. But there is nothing we can do about it now. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories. Forget it. It's no, everybody in this movie is dead. That kid might not be. Even Cheetah might not be. That boy's still alive. Cheetah might not be. Yeah, Boy Jesus, might man. be and alive. Ele- maybe one of the baby elephants yeah. might be alive too. That's not yeah. possible. Did you say the chimp might still be alive? How long they live for? Uh, that's my chimp, you sons of bitches. He stole my elephant, didn't he? Tarzan! Oh boy, you're in trouble now. Kick their asses. Oh shit. You need your boom boom stick, huh? Let boy and chimpanzee go. Stop. <laughs> you white hunter from Randini? Nope. Stop. I didn't did you mean... tell him these animals belong to Chief Angara? Yes, I told him, but did you tell him this land belongs to Chief Angara? He told me. I'll get this straight. I captured these animals and I'm going to keep them. No. Boy, come here. Stay right where you are, boy. Oh, shit. You draw down on my kid, dude. You're done. Do what man says, boy. Oh. Sure, though. Shut up, Rennie. I'll hey, Andy, pause in a second and share my screen. I'll get over the border with all right, the animals. That dude's on the edge of my seat. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen this picture. This is great. Hold on. Yeah, I love. Oh, holy shit. That's a chimpanzee that doesn't have fur. Yep. Yeah, but he's got some balls. He has balls. Does. He has balls. But look at the muscles on that. Thing. I know. Is he sitting on his balls? Like you no, know, yeah. the balls well, are hanging down and. Oh, okay, I'm like, dang, dude. Like, you know, just sit on. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that. 
This now, this chimp just got done reading giant size two fisted manly tails. Like this man. <laughs> yeah. he, he looked like uh, nice. you sh- you sh- he looked like the chimp in the movie before he right. read that book. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> they should have cast know. this guy in the last Planet of the Apes movie. That thing's better than anything I've seen. <laughs> Look at that, man. Please, yeah, I think that guy yeah, that is jacked. Yeah, it's no wonder they can rip your hands off. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, good lord. Oh, yeah. your face the size of those hands and the the the, the strength in those arms it would oh be like God. soft shell crab to them just yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> you know it all it's all starts with fun and games teach them to do back flips and clap in their hands and then oh, yeah. next thing they you know, rip your face rip off, your face off right. and take it over the world earth yep because remember guns don't kill kill people Apes with guns. Oh, you guys, did That's you right. see? Did you see the news story today about the manhunt in Canada? Yes. No. Some. Oh, there's no. a there. Two guys in Canada went on this stabbing spree. Oh, I. Okay. Yeah. Go Eighteen ahead. people. Eight. Ten died, people. and then one of the one of the suspects killed themselves, from what I heard. Would well, I- at least they didn't shoot anybody, though. Right. 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 It, it, hey, but know, if you just take kill, away the knives, wouldn't you rather have somebody with a nice sharp knife re- kill you instead of shoot you? Yeah, I'd rather be stabbed like fifteen times and right. get shot once. And right, yeah, exactly. All right. If you try to stop me, you're what? You fuck boy. So he just in infers. Go ahead, boy. Stop the truck, Bernie. If they're going to kidnap the boy, wait till they see Jane. Yeah, yeah. I know they're going to dump the boy and go. Yeah, she's she's really can, really we, uh, can we trade? Chilly. In the truck, boy. Tarzan should make him dance. <laughs> this is Hollywood, dude. These guys rather have boy than Jane. Oh, shit. I got to tell you, it would be fun, fun to be a set decorator on movies like this and creating all this stuff for a job. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you show your dance. Oh, oh that's a good one. Oh, so it is deliverance, man. Here we dance, go. Whitey. There you go. Watch a break dance. Damn. Oh, hey. oh, vanilla ice it. Uh oh. <laughs> Doesn't know. Boom. Two Punk. coconuts right in the oh. head. Now I got gun. That's a twofer, bro. When you can Stop. knock out two dudes like that. Boom. You know how hard you'd have to hit somebody to KO them like that? It would like crack their skulls. Probably. Hey, this Dead. guy just broke a Dead. chin with his bare hands, Aaron. Come yeah. on. Well, I'm just saying, those guys would be dead if you actually hit them together hard enough to uh, they might be knock dead. them out. They might be dead. They drew upon him. That's true. true. Hey, that's cool. Is that the jungle, the man. Morale? That's cool. Look at him out in the, in the Serengeti. I saw a major mistake in Jaws on the IMAX screen the other day. Oh, what? what? Well, when, when. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that thing looked fake. When, I thought when that they, thing looked fake. When Quint, like, first, from, when Quint first pulls out that rifle, right, it looks yeah. like an M1, but then it's a bolt action. He, he uses the bolt to fire it and uses it again. Later on, it is an M1. It, no, it's not the same rifle, though. It's remember because it's the spear gun rifle. Yeah, I thought he got rifle, two different. Ones. Remember, he opens the case, and the spear gun rifle is there. It's that's that's a spear gun rifle. That's not the regular rifle. But, but there was like a bolt action. Yeah, yeah it's, that's it's, the it's, rifle that was up in the near the steering wheel. Is that the rifle he used to shoot the the the? No, no, the spear, spear gun rifle's different. Because yeah, remember, but, he opens a case and it's there, and he then he puts it together and all. Yeah. And no, no, no. It, it wasn't. Uh, you mean it was Hooper's? No, no, no. It was. No, I don't know if it was. No, I don't think it was Hooper's. I figured it was his because that's what he used to shoot the the line into it. That wasn't the same rifle. Oh, okay. That, that's a specific because he opens it out of a case. Okay. But see, the big the, the thing I saw when I saw Jaws and IMAX that bugged me that I didn't catch before was when Richard Dreyfus was down in a cage and Jaws gets into it. You see all this blood, so you go, "Oh, he bit his leg or something." But then, when Richard Dreyfus swims off to hide behind that reef, there's no blood trail at all. I I always just thought it was the blood from the shark uh, cutting yeah, he's himself stabbing on the, him with the knife, right? 
No, Richard Dreyfuss oh, was wasn't stabbing, stabbing him. him. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was, was when he got in the cage. He oh, was, yeah, was he? he was. Yeah, yeah. He, he had the, oh. the, the dark thing, and he was poking it in the nose. Oh, okay. See? Well, yeah, man, it looked really good in that match. you. Damn. My was bad. Shooting star real or not real? It was real. Uh, it's real yeah. in one scene and fake in another scene. Yeah. Oh I really? Which really? one's which, though? It was it was real, and then they used in the second one. Oh man, was, he's gonna have those elephants stampede. That's what I'd do. You can see the scene where it's fake. That's pretty. Yeah, obvious. it's when it's I going think. from left to right. Maybe. What a fun experience, man! I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah. The dude that played Quint, I guess, was drunk all the time. Yeah. And uh, he did that first monologue about World War II drunk, and it was just awful. So he begged Spielberg to do it again. Showed up sober, knocked it out in one take. And, yep. then, and then went back to his trail and got drunk. And apparently that actor and Richard Dreyfuss did not get along at all. Yeah, Robert, that, Robert Shaw. Yeah, yeah. You like the dude who played Quint? You know? I can't remember his name. He said, he said Robert Shaw was, like, when he was sober, he was a very giving and nice guy, but right. an ugly yeah. drunk. And yeah. he was always challenging Dreyfus, just like the character. Uh, <laughs> he was challenging him to his manhood. You know, mm. at one point he tried to get him to jump off that 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 uh, that tower on the boat. The oh, down. really? Into the water. And finally, Richard Dreyfus was going to do it, and Spielberg says, "You're not jumping off that thing in my movie." <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> he was a, he was a writer and a playwright too. Yeah, yeah, very talented, very successful. Uh, Paperback writer, who Paper Robert Shaw? Yeah, oh. he became an actor. And wasn't he an Irishman? You know what's Graham. really cool about this movie, though, is all the animals. Those, you know, this is not digital. This is not, you know, this, this is a lot of animals. This movie. Yeah, some animals may have gotten hurt during the production, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they just kind of swept that think? under the rug. It's Back funny they're in Africa and they're all Indian elephants, though. Right. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, that's they always do that. Yeah, it's like, man, yeah. run. Well, it's like, you know, whatever's available at the zoo that they can use. Well, you can't train African elephants, Indian elephants, you can. I'll African tell you, elephants are very hard to train, that's why they use Indian elephants in all the movies. The thing I also like bigger, the, yeah. The that said, how hot was Elizabeth Taylor in the film Elephant Walk? Okay. I don't know it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. The, the thing I like about th these movies is that the uh, storytelling is super, uh, like, like uh, beads of pearls on a string. Like, there's never like two story moments in one shot. It's always right. one shot after another after another. Right. Right. Yeah. What's up, John Malin? Basic. What's up, Malin? Yeah. Oh, Malin in the house. Yes, but yes. it's clean, though. It's clean. See what you're missing, John? Jeez, don't mess with Tarzan. Sheldon Martin wants to know, how did Hannibal train African elephants, man? Thank you again for taking they're hard, they're they're hard to train. Never can get. Tarzan wants peace in jungle, too. And now I'm sure they get over years. How did Hannibal train African elephants? Art to bear. You knew Hannibal. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what was his secret, man? <laughs> hey, Jane was uh, pretty underused in this film, wasn't she? Well, she's got to stay in the kitchen. So she's yeah, that's right. She's, <laughs> she's, she's, the the she's not. She has Crocs on. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> they all have different haircuts now. She does, yeah. So does the kid. What's the yeah. right? What was the first Tarzan? Because one of the Tarzans was in Marino, uh, Marino Hara, or what, that she was in. Uh, or uh, Marino Sullivan. Sullivan. Is right that was yeah. Weissmuller's, right? And she was, um, they show the pre-code Hollywood yeah. Jane dress compared to the Pope, you know, after the Hayes Commission. Oh, yeah, yeah. She had like a sideless bikini on. Yeah. And oh, she was Aaron. You know what this might be? This might be a reshoot. Because uh, Tarzan's looking a little flappier than uh, the previous stuff. He doesn't look as fit. Jungle animals. He does look a little thicker. Yeah, he does. Yeah. A and, lot. and the kid's hair is longer, and he probably didn't want to cut it again for the for a reshoot. Taught me that, Tarzan. Yeah. But you should learn to. I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned. Now his Stop. hair's back to short again. Yeah. That was a reshoot. It's a whole different style, too. That was a reshoot. Wait, wait. Pull that back really quick. Let me see that kid's hair. That monkey's right. hair gets different, too. Yeah, his wang looks bigger. <laughs> Gina, where are you? 
Okay, go back just a little bit more. I want to see the no, kids. You gotta go back more to the scene with yeah, James. There you go. There he goes. Oh yeah, yeah. it's very really different. You didn't want to learn to run as silently as you It's did? like bangs now. It's more from books than Tarzan can. God. Yeah, he's got that Kurt yeah. thing going, yeah? Yeah, so, you know, he was like, okay, the shoot's over. He was drinking beers and eating steak and pasta. And they're like, oh, we're going to have a reshoot. He's like, fuck. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll talk about the pit? push-ups first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but a reshoot in a movie like this is like, you know, we forgot to film that one scene. It's like, they're not trying to perfect anything at this point. They're just like, no. wait a minute. Wasn't there a kitchen scene that was supposed to be in here? Or maybe they, they were short. We maybe built the, the set. We didn't shoot it? <laughs> Damn it, right. the movie's under an hour. We need something more. Yeah, let's do that kitchen scene we always talked about. Got another monkey scene. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I think what this is doing? the year right. my mother yeah. graduated. High oh, school. you know what I he's doing. He <laughs> oh, you want oh to honey. the vagina scene. Oh no. Whoa. Yeah. Well. Oh, oh. Man, he's got his buddies with him now. They're like, oh. <laughs> There's a real bees flying around that pit. There are real bees, eh? Look at this. It's all right. Could sting the monkey's face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> care like, the monkey. Nobody cares. He's trained the monkey to go up there and get honey and go, oh, this would be hilarious. Film it. He's yeah, like, this monkey that was irate and runs off the set and down Sunset Boulevard. Ripping people's faces people's off. Faces <laughs> off. <laughs> I got to say, you know, uh, Gordon Scott, he's got the big, you know, barrel chest and everything. But he sure has the thinnest neck of any Tarzan. Doesn't he? He's got yeah. no traps those, either. Those bugs yeah. are animated. <clears throat> those look like the, those are. Yeah. 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 That they're on glass. They're on painted glass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Be, yeah. <clears throat> Keep your mouth closed. Apply it. Poor cheetah. Where did that come from? That's a pet. It snapped that thing's neck. Uh, he's gonna rip his face off. Just like I hope this thing's tranquilized. Yeah, what is she like working on? Coconuts? No, what is it? Two men come. One friend, one stranger. Tarzan. Two men, Brand. one cup. Isn't the story Brand. over? Brand. No, these guys gotta dance. Shit, <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. Oh my god. Well, oh, he back. <coughs> they call me back. Back pope. Sente Diana, Diana no Guano, Ungaro, Luciano Guano. Guano. Yeah, Diana no Guano is what I heard. Diana didn't take a <laughs> shit. He's like speaking. No, saying Diana, she ain't shit. Diana say lop in the traitor. Sorry, what happened to Hunter that kills elephants? He wants Stop. out, so it never happen again. <laughs> I go, Jay. Satan can't be trusted. He's a treacherous man who's only interested in money. How does I she know that? To stop hunters that kill animals. She's my father. Give Tyan a place to sleep and food. Have that, have that ravioli <laughs> done when I get back. Yeah, right. Keep working on those coconuts, honey. Make some <laughs> Try to get that damn thing open. I need some coconut milk. You'd think Tarzan would be leaner with that, uh, you know, keto diet he's eating. Yeah. They already used that tree. That's his favorite tree. That's right. Wouldn't, wouldn't you have a favorite tree if you were living out there? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tie all your vines up to that one tree like a second. Come on, we all had favorite trees growing up. Look, look at the pathway. He's got this pathway. Oh, Is there's it, the same shot. Like a deer. A, a little... Uh, Waste of energy to climb a tree just to swing down to a pathway. I know, just run over there. Yeah, yeah we're heading that way anyway. <laughs> oh, dude, that's the most dangerous animal in the jungle, right there. Yeah. Is that a big lion? The rhino? Was that a rhino? The, the hippo. No, the hippo. Oh, hippo. Yeah. Hippo. Yeah. Was it that a line in the background? Oh, though, if you shit. rewind this a little bit, at least they know. At least they know. Oh, now uh -oh. crocs are getting. Oh, dang! It's on like Donkey Kong. Hi, Goon. Oh, oh, more than one. You ready for can the rock? Can rock? I give you one? Paw. This is a tacky Gilmore moment fighting the crocodile. Uh oh. I love how the monkeys are watching while they're eating. You know, it's kind of like they're watching a show. Just like us. <laughs> Just like <laughs> us. <laughs> Bunch of monkeys. Yeah. We should, we should be like this. 
<laughs> I see no Tarzan. So do you think they found all this, like they went into the archives of the library and got all this uh, footage of wildlife and they kind of tried to move, make a movie around the, with the footage? No, they I, I think they had a B unit. <clears throat> and I think maybe, maybe a combo of both. I There's think. Quint's gun right there. Well, who's this guy? A new bad guy. Who will come yep. and answer to your message. They like their zebra right. print over there, huh? I sent my most reliable runner out to find him. Who doesn't? But you are a fool, Sykes. A fool to concern yourself with revenge. Tarzan was responsible for sending my brother to steam in a tropical jail. Person. Oh, his brother. <laughs> Your brother was a oh, personal. I sent with him. Sure, sure he was stupid, but he's still my brother. He had the right idea, <laughs> even if he wasn't smart He's still my that's brother. Funny. He might be a little stupid. Uh, more wild game. <clears throat> I see what you did any there. Reason in all Africa. And with Tarzan out of the way, there's a fortune for any skillful hunter or trapper. It is only because Tarzan stands also in the way of my plans that I permit you to hire my men at such a reasonable price. Reasonable. <laughs> hey, reasonable. Darn it. Few men have ever tracked human game. They call me a great hunter. Oh, shit. Well, animals are one thing. But now, now I can try my skill. He's just swinging that gun around. Yeah. yeah. The king of the <laughs> Seriously, look at that. Jesus. Wait a minute, that guy. Guy. I had a muzzle sweeping left and right. Put that <laughs> thing down before you hurt somebody. I know. Does it's anybody like, else get the feeling this is two different movies put together? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of where I was going with it, yes. Is like maybe a, one was, a, they're both serials, but they got put them together in one movie or something? Yeah. It's like, let's just say where Craven the Hunter came from. You are yeah. interested in revenge. It's I like, I will be a hunter of man. So I have made the... Uh, yeah, I think Craven came from uh, Most Dangerous Game. Okay. Oh. I'm paying you big money for my biggest hunt. And remember, my gun doesn't care at whom I aim it. Oh, shit. Holy oh, crap. That guy is... And I said whom, he not said whom. That guns That's can right. Not yes, mm -hmm. yes, he, he did. To me. I won't let... Anything in the doesn't care. That means it has feelings. I like that he doesn't go to this guy and try to break his brother out of jail. He's like, no, I gotta kill Tarzan. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, his, his brother's in some African jail someplace, which you could probably get into pretty easily. And then, but no, he's gonna go hunt down Tarzan to get revenge. So Prater says this was originally intended as a TV series. Three episodes were edited into a movie after all three networks rejected the series. Oh, the there series. you go. Well, that's no, I would, that would yeah. explain the reshoot series. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, no, there was no B unit. Uh, <laughs> this is all archive footage. Right. That's what well, I figured. That looks like no a Tasmanian it. wolf, which is Ooh, I want to see that thing eat that. Oh, he's eating that snake. Oh, yeah. He is, dude. Yeah. He's taking it to town. Oh, that's, yeah. He's really eating that snake. Yeah, yeah oh, I know. Oh, he grabbed him by the head and animal. then just goes to town. Is that a that's Tasmanian a snake, wolf, though? That's, that's real death. We just witnessed. Tarzan witnessed it, too. Tarzan's like, you bad. Don't kill Snake. Now he's going to go yeah. kill the uh, wombat or whatever it is and eat it. I like that that was just a scene that went nowhere. Well, they had to have filler, man. Yeah, you got to throw that stuff in there. So maybe got to reestablish her in with the jungle with wild animals. Jungle justice, man. Oh, look at That's that right. transition. There you go. Walks into a close-up, walks out of one. That's dope. <laughs> That's Hitchcock all the way, man. I like that guy's trying to hunt down Tarzan, but Tarzan seems to be hunting him down. What the hell's Tarzan doing? What's that guy down there doing? Do you expect our, a plot? <laughs> I want it to make sense, Graham. <laughs> well, you're asking an awful lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Snap. Why does he grab the gun and blow his head off? Oh, Lord. Sleeper. I like that he has to brace himself. Sleeper. Sleeper. Yeah, yeah. Down goes Terry Crews. Down goes Terry Crews. There's some nut action going he's on there. Molested again. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna take down the brother before the brother can take him down. Yeah, we're not even getting any like the uh, most dangerous game action here. It's just gonna end up right here in the uh, zebra print chair. It's she weird that, that profile Superman. of that cheetah growling also looks like a praying mantis head facing us. Come on, man. You hurt me. So this is the mighty Tarzan. 
Tarzan. Tarzan. Eat a bullet, I'll bitch. Just shoots him. You, say you, want to talk to me, you are the mighty big ear. Yes, uh, it is true that we do not wish to hunt animals, but the message was perhaps not entirely complete. Yes, Tarzan. Since you tracked my brother down because he hunted your animal friends, it is only fair that I now track you down. I shall hunt you, Tarzan. Tarzan. You, but you even though you're, you're right here. I shall, I shall he doesn't call him Tarzan. He calls him Tarzan. Stay out of jungle. Actually, that's how uh, Burroughs pronounces it. Oh, Tarzan? Why did you just shoot him? Yeah. He, I shall hunt no you. Sport, Matt. Tarzan just snapped a chain. Aaron, I think that's the guy that would catch those cannonballs with his belly on your video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is like this is like good wrestling right here. This is uh like the Iron Sheik or something. Yeah. Take out Box his ears. Oh, did oh. punch him in the oh. nuts? Bread bread basket, dude. Uh, Parsman's got a mullet going on too there, though. Oh shit. I've got a burn. gun that I could use to help, but I'll just stand here. Rope burn. Oh, 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 body slam. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Big dude's getting winded. Oh, oh. Little fulcrum action. <laughs> Did he break his neck? I don't think so. I don't know. He might have snapped his coccyx. You are what they say you are, Tyson. And worthy to test my skill as a hunter. You should provide me with exciting sport. I will give you two hours head start. I'll, I'll fucking kill you now, you I dick. know. I know. I want my paycheck oh, now. Just shoot him. I, I would say, if you're a man, put that gun down. Let's go. Yeah. That that boar is laughing back there. Look at him. <laughs> this is my friend. Tiana is my friend. You yeah. are. Two hour and 58 now, bitch. That's right. Why would Tarzan come in by this guy's rules? Whoa. Roll him. Oh, shit. All Tarzan has to do is go outside the door and wait for the guy to come out and then just clock him and it's game's over. I would just That's right. Just, just, just wait, wait it out. I would use those guys as a human shield and go after that guy and take his gun. Yeah, exactly. Take his gun, man. Again, I warn you. Stay out of jungle. I will not play your two-hour game. Yeah, time me nothing in jungle. I have no watch. <laughs> <laughs> what is two hours? Right. Oh, that, guy, that guy's oh, drunk. Shit, he just walked around him. That was a stealthy Tarzan move right there. Where was the was the was the original black guy still laying on the steps? I didn't see. Yeah. yeah. All right. You had Ted. Uh, what's his name? Cruz. Yeah. Ted Cruz. Terry Cruz. <laughs> Terry Cruz. Terry Cruz. Ted oh, Cruz. look at that's the dance. Yeah, more dancing. You know this jam is the fucking head bobber when they're moving like that. <clears throat> boom shaka laga laga boom shaka laga laga boom shaka laga laga. Swing a battle. Yeah, this is all stock footage here. Yeah, I was gonna say you can tell it's just the these aren't actors. This is yeah, that's real shit thing. right there. Those are my people. Drummer, <laughs> right there. For that, that, one. For that one. Those are the dancers are Frega's people. Yes. <laughs> you guys ever been to Africa? No. No. Nope. Oh. It's a dream, man, for me. I just got back. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. I will watch jungle. You get Jane and Boy. Bring them to your village and keep them safe. I do. I do. <laughs> when you Tarzan, get married. Tarzan goes up and down 10 pounds in every scene. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, this, this is lasagna Tarzan here. <laughs> <laughs> Carb loaded. God. He needs to get back home and go to become coconut Tarzan again. Hey, get some protein and fat in you there, Tarzan. Knock off the, the, the bread. Man who turned back on danger. White lion must teach white hunters ways of jungle so that man. Why does every village have a crazy lady? 
Tarzan retained water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much salt. Tarzan bloated. She yeah. has a divining <laughs> rod, you know, she goes right up to him. Tarzan bloated. <laughs> I want to see a snake meeting its demise again. I got I a snake, man. That, that wombat or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, little, little guy. You know those monkeys are crapping in that water, and then the animals go in there to drink. They uh, it's just not sanitary, man. It's flavored. It's flavored. Oh. It's chocolate flavor. <laughs> not carob. Oh. oh man, this guy isn't gonna just take take Tarzan down himself. He's got oh, because he's a bitch, there. man. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah. A great shot. Also, wasn't uh, Golden Scott. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say keep the talent away from the real animals. Gordon, Scott he, can't Gordon climb Scott's a got a really wide back. That he also can't climb a tree back. to save his soul. I love these movies. All they do is walk around, <laughs> sweat, wiping. Yeah, wiping off the brow. Yeah, there's always the one guy that's just unhealthy. <laughs> it's, it's hot. It's Africa hot. What is he hunting them now? I'm not sure. I think he Tracking doubled back. Him, yeah, no, he's yeah. The hunters become the hunted. Mm. I I do knocking. This is what they base Predator on. Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> taking these guys out one at a time. Wait a second. Predator is a documentary. They didn't Based on, <laughs> Sonia Tarzan. God. Man, Graham is harsh. <laughs> well, if this is three episodes edited together, this is obviously the last of the three episodes. So yeah, he's maybe probably... the first. Maybe the first. Hey, our ratings uh, are real low. They're not approving shit. Get fit, bro. He must have thought. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he must have thought that this thing was going to go gangbusters and started buying steak and, and, and bread and eating at Italian restaurants. <laughs> it's always ravioli or lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> See, now look, now he's tighter again. Yeah. I'm going to call this keto Tarzan and the other guy lasagna Tarzan. All right. There you go. Well, this one seems like it has some production value. Yeah, they actually climbed up on some rocks and stuff. Yeah, there's different shots. He must work out. They have to do a dive off that cliff. Oh, that's not happening. How dare you? I can dream, can't I? <laughs> you can. I don't see I won't see him grab a vine and the vine just breaks and he falls. Why do these guys always frame the same when they're walking through the jungle? Because they're walking through the same spot again. That's right. Yeah. They're just moving the camera ever so slightly. <laughs> they're moving, moving bushes in and out of the scene. I like, like they, have, they have no clear destination. They're just kind of... There, there's always monkeys watching, too. You notice that? They're always eating yeah. and watching. Always monkeys watching. Always watching. Yes. Maybe they're trying See? to there you go again. the audience is a bunch Those of Those are the producers. <laughs> I cannot tell what's going on. Who's chasing who? This is horrible. Hey, this is enough time for you to go buy more popcorn at this movie, you know? That's right. What is that? Look, if you got you had a film or a television episode, right, that's 20 minutes long or whatever, and you have so little story, you have to put this much walking in it. You exactly. still out the time. I know. No you dialogue. Can't you give me 20 minutes of story? Yeah. <clears throat> And this look, scene animals rings like running. a modern. Yeah, this scene rings like a modern day Marvel comic. Yeah. Oh, well, there's that. There's scene the oh, look, there's Mark Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Much like a fake snake. A snake. Hmm, a snake. Oh, now they're scared. See, if I was these guys, I would go and get uh, three of the Stooges and give them a hundred bucks a day just to be in this scene to walk past. <laughs> and that's it. Like I, I just need it for one little shot and see if anyone notices it's you guys. <laughs> see you, stat. See you, stat. See you stat. See stat. It's only a matter of time, LePat. Only a matter of time. 
<laughs> the what? Very no, no. We've back. done all this rock work and the rum and the wine. The band. These that guys are going to be worn out before, they before the day. Look how brand new that hat is, too. Like, they're not the sweating way. anymore. They're totally fine. That guy's tr <clears> went to the barber shop, looked at a picture of Walt Disney, and said, Do Walt that to me. <laughs> <laughs> But it looks like they put the makeup on Tim Conway. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, Tarzan. Just not Set fire that that Tarzan don't play that. Did you want to know? Just a flaming error to that guy's chest. Achieved by words alone. It is Tim Conway. You're not the only one I've hired to help me hunt Tarzan. I have the natives out beating the brush for him. And if mm. I fail to corner him for me, I just in the brush, huh? Restricts. He's right behind you, you idiot. <laughs> you come poop. I love They're that sending out the guy who got choked out from behind. Hey, yeah. I used to have shorts. He's like got a buddy guy. now. Well, and he's like, you fool me once, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's gonna choke him out again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh damn, look at that. that. Yeah, the coconut trick. Look the at coconut. those guys are wearing slippers. Were they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Many ways to achieve what kind of natives are these? These guys are getting lit, dude. Look at change. that. He's got some Chianti. <laughs> he's got rum. Before you have your lost city You're not on the hunt. Smoking some weed. He's blowing a fatty. Yeah. Wherever he hides. Oh, no. One way or another. I'll just roll him out. What the? Yeah. The he was in, they, all just, they just opened up on him thinking he was Tarzan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like how we can roll him 20 feet and he's not even on a hill. <laughs> he just kicks him. He just kicks him and he keeps rolling. Look at this guy. Like Tarzan's like 20 feet away from him and he's just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I'll let these other guys hunt him down. Yeah, they've been walking for days and then he's like, well, he's right there, man. Eh. That was the fatty they rolled. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he's going to take a nap. He's like, yeah, on a day's work. Doesn't he look comfortable? Why doesn't he go up and finish him off, man? Because it's a game to him. He's playing with him. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In the books, Tarzan used to do crazy stuff like, you know, drop a, a grass rope over a guy's neck and then yank him up a tree. Yeah, he's, he's rather playful. He <laughs> needs more Jane. My God. What, you're not riveted by the dialogue? Well, you know, if that Tarzan was a public domain that had Bo Derek, we could have watched that one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, now we're talking. <laughs> mm. I like that he's going to beat these guys up, but wouldn't beat all the other guys up. He's being selective about who he's, whose buddy's kicking. Holy crap. He just picked up that 100-pound dude. Yeah, over those are real Africans right there. It's funny if you just punch one of these guys punch. in the face, and then they're like, you motherfucker. And they just start laying into him. Just <laughs> it out of him like... Oh. oh. Here he is. Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, should have Tommy gun out. Oh shit! <sighs> oh shit! He's got a home now. Wait a minute, is this like Swiss oh, Family dude. Robinson? Wait a minute, this is the first time they've shown hey, that. Dude, isn't she it? is. Yes. she is a fastidious lady. She hey. built all that shit. In and all the while, you know, and take you and him to his village. You're safe there. All right. Those guys are inept. Why, but, why are you in fear? She built that whole freaking complex the village with her bare hands. Yeah. yeah. On a weekend. And then she's yeah. out of her life again. I don't know if I'd want her to touch me if she'd be all calloused up. Uh. She'd be all calloused. <laughs> 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 What are your no soft background. hands? You'd have those hard hands. Yeah, she's like, let me touch your face. I'm like, ah, yeah. it's a guy. <laughs> a leather glove? I think not. Oh my gosh, he's really swinging now. There he is. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like a video game. <laughs> For the sound. <laughs> I can't it's believe how much picture. padding is in this, this thing. I like that these guys keep walking and they have no idea where they're even going. <laughs> 
Not all who wander are. Yeah, but Yellow Hat knows where they're going. What's Curious <clears throat> George's buddy's name? Yellow Hat. Man in the Yellow Hat. Yeah. Yeah, that's him right there. Back before he got kind. Oh, finally they saw. Oh, there's a broken yeah. twig. Yeah. I wonder who could have done that. Here. Well, I've been waiting for these guys to look like they were tracking something. Right. Right. Yeah. They're just walking aimlessly around. Yeah, where's the guy that picks up dirt and tastes it and goes that way? <laughs> Look at the vines that are still swinging. Or a lion? All they have to do is look up. <laughs> smell, some, smell some scat. That's Tarzan. That's, scat. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what that guy says. He says they track him by finding his droppings. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it with that gun, pal. He has to go shit at some point. His trigger discipline is horrible. Yeah, uh, takes a dump on one of them when he's swinging. <laughs> just like a, a bird. Big bird. Just drops it back. <laughs> Ooh, there's some sweet homes. Now we cut to the real footage. Yeah. The film quality is different looking. Yeah, yeah it's probably 16 millimeter. He's for sure. <clears throat> You are making very good baskets. Wait a minute. Is he? Well, good thing he was there to stand guard. Oh, wait a minute. I guess he's. Oh, oh no. He's getting Damn, choked, he's out. choked that dude. Oh, oh. oh they got oh, that's horseshoe. That guy. The same oh, guy. they got horseshoe. See, they're all wearing slippers. They got corn pot. Corn pot. There <laughs> <laughs> See, Terry Crews is. He could take out an old man, but that's it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, hey, but oh, no, he, him in the head. The head. he gave him a so Mo Howard on. on the head. Yeah, he know that the, the coconut yeah. move doesn't kill a man. Give me a pork your pine. Mm. <laughs> that would be funny if we had the three suges sound effects we could add into this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, what are they doing to a corn pot? A very pleasant surprise indeed. There is no focus to this. I must admit, you've done better than I expected. You no, see? they they caught his homie to like flush him out. Yeah, got to get that hostage. You will lead Tarzan to us, and then you will lead us to the lost city of Zardo. Ooh, the lost city. Where, Where did that get, come from? We may get production oh. values. I'm sure, there is a treasure. So there is a treasure. No, I BS'd him. Tarzan will come. I to thought him. he wanted to get his brother out of prison. He does. Well, if you can get some treasure in the same, you know, trip, why not? I'm the hunter, and I give the orders. Oh, we you didn't know been... you were the hunter. You She's only tell captain. us every three seconds. He's the captain now. <laughs> All right, man. Get the trap set and do it right. It's like he's an atheist. He's got to tell us every five minutes. <laughs> 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 a, a vegan, a vegan atheist who does CrossFit. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Right. Those are the worst kind. Yeah. You said this movie's an hour, an hour and ten minutes. Yep. God, it's only felt like you know ninety. Yeah, yeah, I know. No, that's my point. You got an hour and ten minutes, and how much do you think has been just filler shots of nothingness? Uh, Half uh, of it. We hour, we've, seen, we've only seen 54 minutes. Oh, yeah. That's right. We've got yeah. 15 minutes I mean, left. That's like a Star Trek episode, and there's so much more story in that. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. know. That's what I'm saying. The Gorn was on last night. Oh, I love that. Oh. That was a, Man, that, that thing terrified the crap out of me. When I saw it the first, I'm like, how is he going to beat this thing? They blew him up with the... <laughs> With the the the, uh, the bomb thing, he, no, he, he did what a good Iowan kid would. He built a gun. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what a real American would do. That's right. Can he do it, Spock? If he's got the time, Doctor. Hootie hoo. If he's Hootie hoo. Hootie hoo. Did he say Goody Goo Goo? Oh, he's doing the hoot. So wait a minute, did they capture Jane too, or did she get away? No, she got away. I think she got away. Did yeah. Jane James was uh, auditioning for the Monsters television series. So yeah, that's right. right. As yeah. Marilyn. Wait a minute. How do you cut from that scene to a close-up of this guy? We have no idea what the spatial relationship no, I know. characters are. <laughs> There's no. Are these guys good guys here now? 
Who knows? Don't give us any trouble. Or I will blow Tyana's head off. So what are you just going to keep him in the net? You're well, yeah, they him? captured him. So what now? Oh, he messed up his hair. Shit. It's like, okay, <laughs> let him go. I caught you. I win. Pay up. Tarzan had no money. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. I think this is one of the movies that Elvis would have shot his television watching. In the early 70s. Oh, here they come. Oh, These are the good guys. Back up. Oh, they, they're the good guys from the village? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Tarzan has an army. He's got him tied up, but isn't just going to blast him? Taming you. Yes, yes. Is it because there's treasure involved? Is that a refrigerator back there? <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? it? Where are they? Man, Tarzan even Find shaves treasure. his pits. Stop wasting time. Diana will tell us. Bronson, Shoot him. Bring me the firebrand. Bring me the fire bra? What did he say? Fire he said, brains? bring me the fire bra. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no! Start Boom. Oh. And he dropped the fire, but oh. didn't light anything on fire. Uh, is that our host, Andy, echoing again? I think it is. No. Yes, it will. That set is like rocking back and over. forth. Oh no, what's going on? Oh no, what happened? I can see hear the sound. No, it just bought. It's not moving on my end either. Hold on. Oh, and it's so exciting. I don't know. This is, know. This is the Wait, climax. We finally have an action scene and it freezes. Yeah, I don't know what. Hold on, let me. It let me seems like it. a Marvel comic book. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> Except there's there's action in this. There's actual action, but it freezes. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Take care. Just to uh, refresh it. Take care. Friend. It's going to start over. Yeah, just take a look <laughs> yeah. at the time, the time and refresh it. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll just drag it over. It like is starting the over. Ah, uh, the good it old days. It's starting when... over. Ah. There we are. Oh, there we go. Wait. No, it's so far. Wait, and... maybe it's the. the... Maybe it's when the, the internet. Want only two kills. Because it's, it's stopping at the same spot. Yeah. Oh, and we're not going to know how it ends. Damn it. No, I think I know how it ends. How does it end? Well, we make up our own ending. Some swinging, right. some, some animals. There's uh, a couple shots of some flamingos and a couple of alligators jumping <laughs> in the pond. And uh, the monkeys right, we're, watching. Oh, and then they have like, the Hitchcock ending. He comes home to see Jane at night, right? And he embraces her. Then they cut to the three monkeys eating, watching, and then that fades to black. So, Except you know, I, so I'm, betting, I'm betting that they're standing in that kitchen, and then the monkey does some kind of funny backflip, and they right. all look at each other and go, <laughs> "Yeah, exactly. That's it. The end. Yep." Hold on. <sighs> they grab their belly like, uh, "What was that, Felix the Cat?" <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember Police Squad? And yes. The episode would end with the freeze frame, only it wasn't frozen. The actors would just freeze. Yeah, and they, would like, they did have an episode where a monkey was running around the background while they were standing there holding yeah. coffee. The one guy is like pouring the coffee. Yeah, yeah and it's pouring out. The Wait, so so he, got a, he got away, and they're after him again. I think so, yeah. The ongoing just plot. The crap. Well, wait a minute. Where's the resolution? Oh, there's the city of gold. They found the lost Eldorado. This is a different different one on YouTube. I found another one. There's oh, a man. No. It's not widescreen. Well, so hang on a second. So the, the, they catch Tarzan. Tarzan beats the crap out of him and then lets him go so he can hunt him down again and beat the crap out of him again. Oh, yes. Now they're heading. They're heading for the uh, the lost city of whatever. The city. Who mentioned the lost city. Oh, I guess they did earlier. What's that? Here oh. we go. There we go. This is where we see this on this weekend. And I gotta tell you, man, I love that movie, the, the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. 
that's my favorite that's, one. That's one of my. That's my favorite one. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's I love good. how they ride off into the sunset at the end. And it's Julia, just, I love it. Yeah, it's called Sean Connery and it's Julia. Raiders is playing at a local theater here with Footloose. How about that for a double bill? Oh, that's Ooh. pretty cool. Why are they just gonna leave them? Finish them well, off. Well, Tarzan you know? got away. I guess we can leave the bad guys now. He so saved his buddy. They got them spears and stuff. Why don't they finish them, man? They got to catch back up to them. So Tarzan saves his friend rather than to kick the crap out of those guys. I get that. I get the nobility there, but his tribesman buddy should have finished him off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Fed Roasted him, him over an open spit. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Last scene is I'm all cooking those guys. That's right. <laughs> Slowly turning it. And then laughing. Yeah. <laughs> One of them has an apple in his mouth. <laughs> oh. How are Boy and Jane? They died quietly. Jane being cooking again. Mm. Might be. Wow. He's combing his hair. And oh, lasagna, Tarzan. Uh, mm. One more treasure. Other one. They have many guns. And I must find ways so guns cannot kill. Huh. You had them. You Tax had them. Bullets. I know. You had them right there. <laughs> you and your you and your gang of uh, tribesmen had them all. Uh, yep. Ah, Poka, evil spirit scream to fly. Quiet, foolish woman. Yeah. Yes. yes. Give her a backhand. Dang. Foolish woman, then she just punches him right in the face. Quiet. What do you think these guys, what do you think those two actors did after the, the shoot was over? And they're like, go home and like, eh, it's a living. <laughs> I think everyone in this film did that. Yeah. Even Tarzan. Except for this guy, he ended up hanging out with some, you know, swarthy figures that told me he was going to be, a, you know, the next James Dean. Yep. With some and, did, and did heinous things off of Mulholland Boulevard. I'll tell you that. Mulholland yeah. Drive. I don't want to know what this poor guy went through. Is that an Ibex? I want to see him ride that thing. How many? How many of us will end up staying on the couch of, a, of our, our best fan as we uh, <laughs> die of old age? I don't know. Let's well, plan to get kicked out of our homes. How about that? Yeah, yeah. What should we say to our wives this weekend, guys? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute, you know Aaron said that like it was a bad thing. That's yeah. what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> Trading our artwork for another meal, you know. That's I'm right. laying on the couch there, like wiping my head with a cold, damp cloth. <laughs> feed, me, feed me grapes and cheese. Rolling your fatties for you. Oh, oh my fatties. Roll that fatty tighter. <laughs> Haven't we seen this scene before? Oh, now they're back wandering through the jungle. I want to see one of these big cats kill one of these guys. I want to see a monkey rip his face off. That's what I want to see. Oh, I want to see one of those bodybuilder monkeys show up. Yes. That's right. That's with the big balls. Oh, shit. I got an invitation. You did. There you go. Oh, my Kevin God. Thomas says uh -huh. it's all yours. Hey, if this doesn't work out. <laughs> there you go, Art. <laughs> Send me a DM. Sheldon Martin says, I had to take my dog for a walk. What did I miss? He says that because he came back in the movies exactly the same as when he left. <laughs> oh, they're still, they're still walking through the jungle. I haven't missed anything. I, bl I blame Sheldon for not inviting us to walk his dog. <laughs> yeah, I, I just started a live stream. <laughs> so we're, we're all so they're, they're back at the kitchen? They're all acting the like they've never been there before. Yeah, the refrigerator's right in the corner, remember? Yeah, you had Tarzan tied up there and you had 
The tour. Yeah, like, what are they looking at up there? What's up well, it's supposed there? to be the beautiful. They're supposed to be in that beautiful kingdom, right? Oh, and it looks like beautiful cardboard kingdom. Look, yeah, it does. look the at the card... rail. Look yeah, at the I know. rail. They don't dare touch it because it would fall over. Yeah, it's paper. It's wrapped this is cloth. this is Billy's set set decoration for yeah, you. Now, what do you Billy think those guys were doing? 48 hours before this, what did that set look like? It's like, we need, we need a, a, a temple. And the guy's like, fuck, okay. <laughs> the smoking cigarette. Look, you know, it smells like look cigarettes. at the parking meter. There's a parking meter. Oh, Was there? Yeah, go back. Oh, oh, oh wait, I got to see this. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, yeah, what is that? Oh, oh. It's a cobra. Uh, it's a cobra. Come on. They just put tape over it. It's a parking meter. They just they put like, tape over it. This was they the living room. It so it didn't look like a parking meter. Oh, my God. Right after this scene, they go to the there same hall. That you is a Carl, parking Carl, the PA, brought the parking meter. Like, Carl. And why is there Carl, like a statue? Like a, there's a bust of some white dude's head down there. Why? For like a Roman body. guy? Or like a Roman statue Our, or something? Yeah. <laughs> There is nothing about this so-called temple that indicates any kind of, of faith or culture. <laughs> or money or treasure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There this is, is like no the way there's treasure in here. They can't even build, build a straight wall. <laughs> they, built, they built one hallway and they keep showing it over and over. There's no filigrees. There's no nothing. It's just... <laughs> Oh, we, we've oh. seen this before. Oh, let me oh. guess. He's going to choke him. Now, if you're guarding that, why is the only place you not look is the one place the guy could come in? That was quick. I know. Why are you facing it? Like laying right. down, even like laying prone with your gun, you know, I think. He won't door. come from behind. <laughs> yeah, he won't come in where we came in through. He'll come in from where we're already at. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they carrying bricks or stones or whatever that is? Treasures. That's treasure. Sure, in the that's box all their right? tents and stuff. Come like on. Cases, oh. cases of Velveeta and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Nice. Crack that, that dude's not like wood either. <laughs> Ooh. Randy Howell for five bucks says the treasure is all the money in those parking meters. Right, Bust those right. bad boys open. Thank you, yeah. Randy. A cool hand Luke to saw him off. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? That what is, is so it? racist. Like they found a pirate treasure chest? Yeah. What? A bone? It's gone. That's all. Yeah, he's already been there and took everything oh, good. good. Yeah. Nothing but relics and skulls. <laughs> Who would have thought walking the through this shithole there was nothing ah, here? Ah, a fool and his money. I'm a hunter. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he just shouts that. <laughs> have I mentioned lately? Yeah. <laughs> he's got a long neck, man. He does. You two are married. God? Let us out, Tarzan. I promise I will give you one million golden francs. To kill one him. Million. Shut up, you coward. Tarzan, come down among us and you die under our gun. Okay. okay. This time he's <laughs> Come back. Come back. All of you. I like how he just offers it up. Come back. Oh, shit. Oh, he finally killed somebody. Hold out oh. your gun. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was a pretty good poke. Yeah. I love it. He's not a hunter, he's a boxer. Oh, shit. Oh, my Lord. Lord. going to town. Oh. Now, there's no good fishing cuffs in this, though. I got to tell you that. That was stunt double target. Okay, my point is, couldn't he have done this before when they had him in the. Yes. Could have done this at any time. How, would yes. we, how else would we get to an hour and ten minutes? Come on, yeah, this is a big true. climax. Come on. 
No. Oh shit! I think he nutted. Why didn't he? T- <laughs> Why does he take that guy's <laughs> franks from him? Oh, take franks. My parents had men with guns. <laughs> you, Terry Crews. That's right. You mean he's, he's a good guy now? Make him dance. Cool. Hey, you cool, crackwise. Hey, hey, cool, hey, cool. hey, cool. yeah. well, Do you ever see the one where Sean Connery hey, was the bad guy? Bro. No. Yeah, it's a late 1950s one in color with the uh, same guy, Gordon Scott, and Sean Connery was the one of the bad guys. No oh, kidding. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Oh, back back at the old homestead, Jane's making coconuts. Yeah. Is that mashed coconut. potatoes? It's porridge. <laughs> That's got to be coconut gruel. There's oh, no mashed gross. potatoes out there. Gross. It might be poo man. I don't know. It might be Look at her hair now. Well, let, yeah, rocking let's a different get, hairstyle again. Well, let, let's look and see what Tarzan looks like. So it's like, hey, Tarzan, more carbs. Hey, where the heck has boy been this whole time? He's been doing his homework <laughs> at the stylist. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, oh let's go make our own boy. Leaning. Oh no, the monkey ate his gruel. Oh, yes, right. Told you, monkey We're funny stuff. You're done. Family laugh. <laughs> You're, You're right. I gave you eggs. You promised us surprise. Oh, all right. Shit. Come on. You promised me surprise. Mm. <laughs> oh, my Gina, damn. knocked me up. I like they had this set all the time. And they didn't oh, know. that darn monkey. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Graham called it. Oh, my God. I called it. Where <laughs> <laughs> that host <laughs> oh. Story. Gordon Scott as Tarzan. Two women as Jane. Brent is Jane. Yeah, her hair was different, wasn't it? Yeah, same with boy. He looks Ricky Sorensen is boy. Nondescript actor. Wait a minute, wasn't that the same guy? No. Put on the same hat. Here we go. Now, when I cheat us, Nick Larue as such. And. Jerry Mathers as the beat. That's, that's <laughs> the chimp. Yeah. Jerry Mathers as the chimp. Oh my gosh. Well done, There man. you go. Hey, uh, are those, speaking of War of the Gargantuans, are those filmed in the public domain? The Toho? No. I meant in the US? No. Ah, shit. Yeah, I don't know. So if, I do it, not is, know. Now hang on a second. Is that 70 year copyright rule? Is that hard and fast, or can they go back in and re up it? It's What's that? More than 70. It's 75, I thought. In U.S., it's, right. it's more than that. It might yeah. be like 93 yeah, years. I think, years I think in in, the US. Uh, Sonny Bono passed that bill uh, that extended it to like 95. Mm. Oh, so okay. like, how far back film-wise do we have to go then? then so the tw- there should be some silent films, though, shouldn't there? Be? Oh, yeah, lots of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like oh, I said, Nosferatu is in the public domain. Well, what about like uh, Phantom of the Opera? Probably. Or does Universal go yeah, back? Probably a lot of, uh, yeah, probably. I think yeah, probably. And you know, it's uh, it's different in other countries. Like uh, Conan is uh, public domain in Europe, yeah, uh, and in Canada, uh, mm-hmm. but not here. Huh. You know, different different rules. Same thing with Tarzan. Mm-hmm. Tarzan. The whole you know, the whole library, the Robert E. Howard Library, is public domain. Well, no, not the library. You'd have to for each story he wrote, depending on what year it came out. You know, as you start to go into it, uh, the next year, the next story would come into public domain. Okay. So, like the first year that Conan, you know, the uh, uh, Phoenix of the Sword, the first Conan book or story comes into public domain, you can use anything within that story, but not anything in the others. So, that's how come Princess of Mars is public domain, but all the other John Carter stuff isn't? Correct. That all seems wrong. It seems like your family and your family's family and family family should be able to, you know, keep owning the copyrights. And uh, I actually agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. As long as there's family alive, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, um, Andy, if you want to share my screen, yeah. I, I have a list of films in the public domain, and I think oh, okay. you'll be surprised. Look at this. What do we got? 
You have so I mean, look at this Sinatra film. You have St. Louis Blues, Popeye, The Sailor meets Sinbad. Yeah, that's a great movie. What is See, use and we reuse? Do, movie night. Yeah. What does use and reuse mean, though? Can I like cut this stuff into a film and make a new film? Probably, yeah. Oh, the the great hitchhiker. train robbery. Great that's train robbery. Like. Yeah. The Hitchhiker. That's yeah, a. There's a movie. lot more than this too. A lot more. What's up, Phil? So Phil Pop, didn't Phil Pops have a birthday? Uh, Phil, yes. Over the weekend, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. happy birthday, buddy. Let's see Ethan this some more here. Hang whoa, on. Whoa, whoa, the house on Haunted Hill is in public domain? Scroll well, back here's, up. Here's some more. So let's look. Let me. Uh, I'm going to move this over. So Yeah, sometimes it happens because uh, they never renew the copyright on it. Because no one gives a rip. Yeah. No, I, there was a picture of the house of, on Haunted Hill. Vincent Price was up there. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I was... The brain that wouldn't die. That's when we watched on Ethan's channel, right? Oh yeah. god, that was horrible. Attack of the killer leeches. Ooh, giant Attack. leeches. Beat the devil. Bo ideal. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at that. There's <laughs> 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 James Cagney, Blood on the uh, on the Sun. Oh, that's a horrible movie. Is it? Okay. Yeah. There it is. There's the brain that wouldn't die. Look at oh, wait a minute. A bucket of blood. Oh, that Roger Corman, of course. Yeah, that's a Corman film. Oh, right. Go. Oh, Stooges, bro. We can watch the Stooges. <laughs> the Bride was forty-seven. Brutal. That's a Shemp. That's a Shemp one. Uh, oh, look, Charade. Hello. I like Charade. I, I like. Uh, yeah, it's a good movie, Charade. That is a good movie. Debbie does Dallas, dude. We should still watch this on your show, Aaron. Next week on the on next week. Hey, DOA's public domain. Oh yeah. Uh, what's that dude's name? Um, Edmund O'Brien, right? Yeah. yeah. Pamela Britton. Farewell to Arms. Yeah, look at that. That's an intense movie. Glenn or Glenn. Oh, come on. Glenn 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 Glenn. Uh, I've never seen movie this is, movie. Oh, it's so bad. Graham, oh. look, Graham. The gorilla. <laughs> oh, now that I want to. <laughs> the Ritz Brothers? Brothers? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Poor man. Oh, the movie. animated Gulliver's Travels. What a great movie this is. That, that movie is really fantastic. Oh, that's the Fleischer. The Fleischer yeah, that's the Fleischer guys. Oh, cool. There's that scene where he's pulling the boats out of the ocean. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, so good. His Girl Friday? Yeah. He's in public domain? Yep, Rosalind Russell before she became mannish. Oh, my gosh. that was That's such a good movie. It is. Oh, it's a wonderful life. Yeah, that I knew. That I knew. Yeah, no, I didn't. What? See, we can watch that at the holidays. Oh my god, at Christmas time, we got to start doing these guys. Yeah, yeah, but these are actually movies we want to watch. We'd actually right. quit talking and start watching. Just, yeah, so Kansas else, City Confidential. Like this. Great film, noir film. Last Lady Man on Earth with uh, Vincent, Vincent Price. Price. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. We watched that's that on the, Ethan's channel. I thought. Yeah. To, uh, Is that shot from that film? That because that's a classic. Oh, we made a a doctor. What is it, Doc? Mr. Doctor Fives or Mr. Fives? Doctor Fives. Doctor Fives has same good vibes. Exact pose. Yep. Well, you know, yeah. is, is that the Omega Man? Is that the yeah the same yeah. thing? Yeah. It's okay. a Richard Matheson's book. Uh, Life with I Father. Am I am oh. Legend. I'll tell you, Charlton Heston. That version, the Omega Man, is the is the best. I movie. know. I love that movie. <laughs> Maniac. I actually thought it was cool. Like, like a, as a kid, when I saw Omega Man, I was like, I want to be. That dude. <laughs> oh, that's that's a maniac. Maniac. Wait a minute. Wait, is that's there a maniac? maniac. That's maniac. Boys, there it is. Agent right, Toyland. Yeah, so it is. So, oh, Martian okay. Wooden Soldiers, because I'm playing that on my show. Friggin', I don't care. We're not going to get a strike. Failure to display copyright notice. This is later. This is this is a, lat, a, a later abridgment of Babes in Toyland, which is still in copyright. The public domain, uh, so they're not going to do anything. McClintock, yeah, that's a great movie. A 1963 movie is in public domain already. Wow, Night of the Living well, Dead. I mean, this one was 1958. We just I can't believe Night of the Living Dead is in public domain because the, the they didn't uh, they didn't renew the copyrights. The producer, yeah. Meet John yeah, Doe, is up there. That's a great movie What's of human bondage. bondage? Mm, oh my god, the outlaw with Jane Russell. Oh, bro. Oh. Hello. <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 look. One eyed Jax. Yeah. Bra Brando directed that movie. He's in yeah. it. And... Wow. 
copying it right, not renewed. Plan 9 from Out of Space. Oh, oh. horrible. <laughs> horrible movie. I know. Popeye the... Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> 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 that's the best Reaper one. madness graham oh uh, yeah Bart, we can watch re- you can re- and, and you guys could do your Reaper Reaper Maddie. Maddie. there you go smoking weed man let's do it i love that it movie makes, it makes uh, you- <laughs> this is one of the greatest movies of all time isn't it graham yeah, this, and conquers the margins i love that man we used to watch at christmas and we were kids like this is horrible uh-huh. even as a kid you knew it, it was horrible even as kids you're like yeah i gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> You're so desperate you watched it anyways. Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Star Star is born. Is that the one with Frederick March in it? Yes, 1937? It's gotta yeah. be. Yeah. Oh, the stranger. Oh. Orson Welles. That is an Ooh. awesome film. Edward oh, G. Robinson. Already young. Yeah. Nice dish. All, all the Fleischer cartoons. I didn't know Fleischer cartoons it's are just ancillary They're great. rights. Merchandising contract rights, as well as the original 35 millimeter master elements, are currently owned by Warner Brothers. Okay, so they're not Superman in public, public domain. They're then. not. They're not. Okay. Unless we could probably show it. I don't know. Teenagers from outer it. space. Oof. No Damn thanks. Teenagers. The terror. The terror with Boris Carly. Look at that. Oh. That's a cool poster. Oh my yeah. gosh! Three guys named Mike. Kidding. The terror of Tiny Town is a midget western. Uh, look at that, Lagosi. Wait, yeah. wait, yeah. a midget yeah. western? We can't yeah, the, go one. back up. The terror of Tiny Town. Keep going. Two, right there. There it is. It's a midget western. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, the yeah. terror of Tiny I Town? Thought. Yes. Oh, no. Shit. I think Ethan's Play gonna, that trailer. Ethan's gonna, <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, it is the whole film. Oh, that that's the whole damn film. This is so wrong. It's right. Oh, hello. Let's see if I can make it bigger. I don't know if I shared my audio. Tell me if I did. <laughs> Ladies and yeah. gentlemen and children of all ages. <laughs> ah! Was that ah! Ronald Reagan? <laughs> I got miniature horses. Look at that. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 <laughs> it's like the Wizard of Oz is a western. Now you know where they got the idea for the reality show with the little people. Now. Imagine this all is like, this yeah, going on after filming. Like, did they go crazy in uh, the <laughs> Look at book? that! This guy Jack. Dude, he's a little buff guy. Oh, well, we have to do this. <laughs> See, that's that you chick from Poltergeist. It is. Isn't he one of the lollipop keys? That one right there? Yeah, he oh, was. Look at that little miniature horse. <laughs> Talk about not being able to ride a horse. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Look at this little bit of fun. Matthew's got some long legs for me. This house is clean. Can we go back to? Is he going to punch you in the face? Holy crap! Oh, pet cars, everything. Can we go back to him almost getting killed riding that pony? Yeah. They're like, oh! Oh, that's the best. That's a chick. Your duty is your smart is to do as I tell you. Oh, I'm is that chick? Oh, yeah. a nice bunch of cattle from both that sides. That is chick from And each one blames the other. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Now you know where Bugsy Malone is. I'll try land up owning both outfits. Oh, we missed. Oh! Ben Fatale. This is wrong. It just looks like a little kid in a, in a, in a beauty pageant, right? Like, yeah. You think that's wrong? Where do you see the sex? Oh. Uh, Sean Martin, he put little hats on him. You know, they got to do productions like this again so those those little guys can get a job. Just look at the door. Look at how high that doorknob is. It's a full size door there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to think, why would they build a town that's full size? Yeah. Well, they should have used the silent screen side of the street, which they probably did. The doors are a lot smaller. If you go into Universal lot, you get the Western scene, and you get the where the silent films were shot, and this the doors are really short compared like to like that, the like that door. Oh wow! Goodness. I think Alan Ladd would use the, the they'd use the sets for the. You know, oh, they they don't like keep with a little rascal. Robin 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 
<laughs> what? <laughs> oh, this is the little rascals. Anybody in town got any cabs? They better watch him today. I thought the county paid a bounty on coyotes. Tell them that they run around. Freeze off. Let's pick up the trail and see what they're up to. I want to see them die. I want to see gunfight. I want to know where they there come from. Hang on, put your life, boys. Blue's got a knife knife. He spent more money on this than that Tarzan episode. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> You think they use it like kids' cap guns or they use the first guys like peacemakers and stuff? They have to because the scale would be weird, right? It's like that stagecoach is scaled down. Oh, yeah, it totally is. Right. Oh. Carla! All those guys are just like loaded with bullets. Oh, I know you. And the fun thing is, everybody working the crew is probably oh, regular like, got him. <clears throat> oh, awesome you know, I had a, I had this scene in Wraith of God, but I took it out the last minute. You got to bring some midgets into that. <laughs> that's a, a revolve. That's a yeah, that, revolve. That's a double really? action revolve. Yeah. <laughs> that's like a Model 10. <laughs> It looks like Claude Aikens, yeah. like a miniature Claude Aikens. Eight years old. Look at this guy. Oh, this poor guy. We'll have those two outfits killing each other. Hmm. That guy's up to no good. No, I like how they just go on oh, this thing. Right. Go. I know they just go right under where they tie the horses up. I love it. That's a kid. Well, again, yeah, there's got to be kids. In this. There's no midgets, and if you notice, oh, no, these are all midgets. They're not dwarves, right? They're all midgets. Sending a trail herd to the railroad. I thought I can thank Pop Ross. And they don't have midgets anymore. But they give kids HGH if they feel that they're small like that. Russell poor and can get no help. Michael J. Fox could have been in. Michael J. Fox still by five, though. Uh -oh. And I'm sure you're the nicest uncle in the world. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look at Daddy. Oh, he's you sizing her up. Hey, that guy could face. play prune right. face in a yeah. crazy movie. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, enjoy yourself. Go on, get out of here. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Shake that butt. She is styling. Look at that. All right. Would you put up a lunch for me? Chef What's Boy R.D. Oh, Once I turn this butter, Chef Little Boy Oh my God! Chef Little Boy I just gave beefaroni to Gordon Scott. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> oh no, it's romantic. He's in season three of his TV show, you know. But then he sings like Glenn Miller. Stop! Uh -oh. Marty, have to stop. But you don't hate me, and I don't hate you. Why can't we be allowed to live in peace? We yeah. have the right to be happy. We yeah. could yeah. all laugh. Just because we're tiny. If only we could make folks <laughs> we have common sense. Regular people it's failing. Yeah, we have tiny Billy and tiny Andy. Yeah, well, you know, they killed all the regular sized people to take over that town. They had to. They buried right. them. Right to they murdered them all. Him, but it only makes them angry. <laughs> they pretended to be <laughs> children and they went in there and killed more them. Of them. <laughs> more <laughs> Here we go. Here he goes again. Look, he has <laughs> no idea. This kid is totally from like Brooklyn. Oh, South yeah. Africa. <clears throat> vaudeville, right? He, you know, he's in vaudeville and oh, he knows what he's doing. Go back, Buck, and make up with your father. I can't come between you. You're worth it, that somehow. I'll You're worth it. Through. I think they're headed for town. What? All right. I, I think uh, I, we've had enough. Yes. Uh, or unless you want to jump to the end. Yes. Yeah, no. end. Happy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh no! Oh shit! I want to see the prequel when they took over the town. Yeah. <laughs> it's a oh, short film. Come on, let's get you could do a series yeah. of these movies like Planet of the Apes. Oh, look at little showgirl yeah. action here. He's a hoe. Oh, 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 oh damn! Oh, he, oh, he actually he hit her off screen. I love it. That dude's uh. an asshole. What a dickhead, yeah. He gave her the smoke. <laughs> he could just walk right underneath <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, it's coming down. It's coming down. It's going to be a shootout in the OK Corral. Exactly. Here comes the singing cowboy. <laughs> cow Look at the guy with the patch. Look at the guy with the I know. He's got like a Zorro cape on or something. Uh, 
Raider says it's a short film. <laughs> Everyone's no part of this. How are they going to get up that thing? Don't forget there's a law in this town. That's all right, Sheriff. We figured to save you some bother. Come on, man. Damn, he's got some thunder in his yeah. Come on, man. Fall up the thing. Do that, dude. Hey, wait, wait for me. The <laughs> Get the boys. We're riding to town. <laughs> You're back in this, hey? You're not man enough to fight it out with what me. a patch or sunglasses. This suits me, all right. Hank looks like a woman. Besides, is you to be strung up until you are dead. We're gonna string up the singing cowboy. Or string him up from the door frame. That That guy's so quick on the draw. His gloves don't fit. They must have quit. There he is with that 1938 model for Ken Smith & Wesson. <laughs> that old Why is he, running? he can barely hold that gun. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Now, who's this? I know. Yeah, Look at that. Almost normal. Yeah. <laughs> to get out the window. Oh. But he's got all his men with him. Hey, where you are? Turn around. Hey, you abandoned his men? Yeah, his men all have guns. It's hey, what's people. going on here? Hey, hey, hey. Wait a minute. <laughs> Get a little frisky. I got a job to do. Gotta love those doors. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. They're, they're at a backstage lot where they shot probably got all these Republic films, films you know, with John Wayne and <laughs> Spawn Ranch. Spawn Ranch. Are you hurt, man, Sheriff? He shot it's him. Just right a good there. shot. Yeah. I'll be okay. Changed it all the wrestling. I'm going to go to Munchkin Land. Oh, this is terrible. Just follow the, the Yellow Book Road. Their performances. Just follow the Yellow Book Road, Sam. I'm going to do an over and an over. Oh. You can't even see the face. And he's going to die in his arms. And you don't get to see it. <sighs> Probably for the better. This guy yeah. pointing his gun at nobody and everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready. I mean, that is the volatile area. Oh shit! Is he after the girl? I think he's going after right? him. Yes, he looked backwards. So he ran away. He had all his men there for some reason. He ran away. He took over that town because those guys were coming in. The sheriff. The four of them. <laughs> those two guys could take all four of those guys. What What year was this made? Thirty nine. Oh, I think thirty eight or something. Ooh, dynamite! We're gonna get some special. Thirty nine. Thirty eight or thirty nine. Right. So the same time as uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. The thing he's riding ain't up for talking. Well, we're gonna get some production value. A little horse. There is more action in this than the Tarzan movie. Oh yeah. Oh, we're oh, making nice the horse now. Oh, the horse too. Oh, oh, that. that horse. Oh, no. That's her dad, right? Is that? Is no, it's not her dad. Her dad was the other guy. Hey, who came in at the end and asked him to die? called him Daddy. Well, that guy's gonna die too. Oh, 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 in the wrist. Quick on the draw. You got it all your own way. He's got I'll one, too. They couldn't friends. use cavalry it's guns. Like... For me. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Oh, 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 he just punched him with the fucking fist he got shot in. You don't want to fight this guy. Oh, my God. This guy's wicked. Ah, midget fight. And you know these, these midget guys are fighting over, like, one of the girls? They both Every shot's below the belt. <laughs> oh, now they're in bed together. Look out. There she is. Oh, she's oh, no, that's the dark haired girl. The blonde is the, is the one that left the dynamite. The posse. <laughs> yeah, her. She left the dynamite. Oh, Blackjack, this movie was made because someone messed up and signed all the midgets from The Wizard of Oz to a two-picture deal. <laughs> you might not be wrong. In about one minute, he'll be scattered all over these hills. Well, if anybody wants to know what There's happened to the monkey. Some of you boys take her to town and lock her up. Wait a minute. Isn't that guy committed to crime? 
This is like pre-crime. The place hasn't even blown up yet. They're already taking her in. Oh, whoa, whoa. Punk bed. This is turning into like a broke back uh, whatever small mountain is. Broke back midget. Broke back hill. Yeah. I'm telling you, this is a good yeah, place scene right here. Oh, oh, slam. Hey, go. Wait, is that a stun, a stun midget? A stun midget? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> It's gonna be a tough cast. I saw a documentary on the midget that played uh, what was it, cousin in, and those guys are like circus guys, so they're used to like all kinds of stunts and antics. Oh, oh my god, this is like brutal. I have to turn away. I wonder if they only got half pay. <laughs> they only eat half as much. That's right. Get out of there, man! It's gonna blow up. That's the longest fuse on a like a dynamite. What are you yelling at me from in the middle of a fight? Is that gonna stay that guy? He's no, Batman. I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. Where did I put that dynamite? I climb that damn fireplace. Oh, oh shit! Oh! <laughs> Did he shoot him? Did he not shoot him? That's a good cliffhanger. Oh. Damn, look how far the debris went. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of dynamite. Yeah. I don't think so, but what happened? You just missed being an angel by about three seconds. <laughs> so Martin. Gonna knock him right out of his pots. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the fights that happen in <laughs> Let's go oh, eat some glue with that. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Now they cut to a monkey and everything is fine. <laughs> That was Terror in Tiny Town. Oh, Terror in Tiny Town. I kind of love it. I kind of love Terror in Tiny Town. Oh, my God. By Sam Newfield, sorry, Billy Curtis. The film was shot on a sound studio in Hollywood and partly in Placeritos Ranch in Placerta Canyon, California. Nice. Whew. No, plot. That was I'm going to read the whole plot, okay, Aaron? No, no, no. no, no I think no. we got the whole plot. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I think we pretty much figured it out. No, oh, my great. God. That was well, awesome. You know what? This, this turned into a double feature. Man. Yeah. It did. Just it like did the old days. And just Where like the old days, the second movie was better than the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you the, great, can the professional you deliver said? or can we deliver? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is entertainment, baby. And Dino Friday. says, Terror in Tiny Town is Art's middle name. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Hey. Man. As Frag said, all those punches are below the belt. That's right. <laughs> I just crazy. love the doors, oh. man. They're like, push instead of just going right under. Yeah. We got to get out of here. up at the bar. <laughs> yeah. It's like they had to get climbing equipment <laughs> to get a drink. And no that little guy climbing up. You want to get rid of porn bots? Show Terror in Tiny Town. Look at yeah, right. look, look at Twirly Wolf. He says, "I have to go to confession now." <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Damn, hot damn, oh, that was good stuff. Man. That was great. Well, guys, we've been going for two hours and fifteen minutes. Let's uh, let's take it around the horn, and I know we all have stuff, so. Uh, uh, Aaron, you're up first. If people want to share screens, that's fine. I can handle it. No, okay. I don't have anything. I got just Wraith of God Blood Hunter is, is launching uh, this Thursday, uh, somewhere around three o'clock, maybe a little earlier than that to make sure three I test the thing and make sure it doesn't blow up on me before we get rolling. But um, three o'clock Pacific. Pacific time, six o'clock Eastern. Thank you. But I will be sending out a uh, message tomorrow, letting everybody know that signed up early when the uh, the exact time is that we're gonna launch that baby. So get ready for big excitement. It's coming your way. Aha! There you go. Woohoo! There you go. Beautiful. And we've got eighty-one people watching. So please hit the like and subscribe button, of course. And Graham Nolan, I see a screen, so I'm sharing it. If you're one of those 81 that hasn't signed up for the Ghosts of Matacumba Key, I am launching October 1st. Uh, please do sign up now. Uh, that way you'll you you get the two free uh, exclusive trading cards for anybody who signs up. 
Uh, these are the, the first two covers. The traditional covers on the left in the co in color. The one on the right is the Monster Matinee cover, which will mm. have a glow in the dark logo on it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. I like the that. actual yeah. the other one might have a glow in the dark logo too. I <coughs> yeah. No, oh, no, no. Man, kids, man. So this, this illustration is badass. This, this is yeah, I like awesome. it. I like it in color and in black oh, yeah. and white. Yeah. 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 Holy smokes. So we're not going to get the racy version of her her button popping off her shirt and. Billy Wait, Tucci. That's, that's in the William story. Tucci. Oops, and her bosom's full. I mean, it, it might hard. be in the story. Yeah, could be. Got to buy the book. So you got to buy the book. Yeah, yeah I think Sign there's up. a monkey at the ending too. There may be a monkey at the monkey at the end. Oh, and there'll be little stomp? midgets, midget ghosts too. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah, please nice. sign up. And uh, uh, we'll be ready to launch on October 1st. What Can you think of a better month to launch a ghost story? No. no. Perfect. Your 30 days will be up right on Halloween. Yep. Hey, right. um, a, a question for you guys. Uh, I know some of us are launching new campaigns. I'm shooting for, I think, November 2nd. Yeah. Um, or November yeah, November 2nd um, to launch. Or maybe November 1st. Are, are any of you guys launching around then? Nope. No. We're all going to be rolling by then. We'll all be rolling, yeah. Yeah, I, I may have something, but I'll talk to you a little later about that. Okay. There you go. Cool. Andy, Andy, share my cover real quick since I forgot. To I go. will. I got to say, Aaron, now I'm really torn on what cover I want because I love this one too. Oh, great. It's so this great. Is, uh, this is my uh, tribute to Tomb of Dracula number one by Neil Adams. It uh, is the third cover option on Wraith of uh, God Blood Hunters. So. Did somebody rework uh, Nosferatu's face like they did on Neil's? Oh. Yeah, I, I reworked it. Oh. <laughs> um, no, that's a really that's that's really nice. I'm really torn because I like the other uh, throwback cover you did as the well. Tales of the suspense split. cover. Well, you yeah. know what? Everybody's gonna love this because she's showing way more than ankle. That's oh, right. Yeah, that's yeah, about as much you're gonna see of Esther and uh, you're gonna nice. see. Oh wait a minute, I got okay. Since well, okay, one more. All right. There's the there's a Tales of Suspense cover that you were referring oh, to. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I love you garbage man it back. Good job. Thank you. Well, the trade paperback sold really really well in the Wraith of God campaign. The Garbage Man trade did. So now people are interested in Garbage Man too and they're like, you know, when are we can get more Garbage Man stories. So I'm like, well, I'll just put some backups in there. So we got the Wraith of God lead story which will be the longest story in the book and then there's two shorter backups. Featuring uh, Garbage Man and then the nightclub, which ties into uh, Wraith of God. So there you go. Perfect. And you have a question from Danky Frankie. Is no, he is not. We're, I couldn't. I couldn't do that to John Malin. Can you imagine? Oh no, that wouldn't be. I right. got if I got Dale I'm, to do another cover before he did John's. <laughs> we, we don't want to see a grown man cry. I do have a guest artist who's still not done, but I'll be bringing his cover in when I get it. And it's half done. I've seen pictures of it. He swears it'll be done by the end of this week, but you know, fingers crossed. Yep. Eventually. What about you to bear Mr. Artie art? To well, bear? Uh, let me uh, screen share. I got black and white is still in demand and I work on it every day. We're <clears throat> uh, over halfway through with the pencils. Um, can you see this? Yes, we can. Yeah. This is one of the layouts. Dude. That I'm working on right now. Oh, nice. Or you Wait, gotta do a lay, you have to do a rough cut book of your layouts. Yeah, yeah you, you like should. Yeah, you should. like little like people like, movies. Cha cha, two for one. Like the little people movies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so there's there's that. Um, it's coming along, and uh, and also, uh, Pamela and I are putting. Can I screen share? Can I screen share. We're Ooh. putting uh, this together. So this is the art book that I put out a few years ago, and it sold out. I've had a lot of people asking about it. So we're working on a campaign right now and a way to bring this bad boy back to print. Bring and, uh, back. The art of art. I love yeah, it. so it's got a dust cover on it. Yeah. And uh, I got a nice forward by uh, Kevin Nolan here. Oh, Donald really? Wow. You, you're so dusty. And that'll be a fast campaign, right? Because the book's all done. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be. Uh, we're looking at different printers right now to do the book, and um, and so we're looking at different pricing, and we're trying to build the campaign right now. And I have a few surprises, but it's all going to depend on uh, 
on how much support I get by CG because uh, there's going to be some fun stuff in the campaign. So, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be a short campaign, uh, <coughs> maybe maybe 30 days, 60 days tops, and uh, that will be it. And then, um, and then we'll be able to go to print and uh, start shipping that book out. So... Uh, look forward to that, and I'll let everybody know as it as it progresses. And like I said, uh, black and white is still in demand. So if you haven't picked up a copy, please do so. And uh, and also, Aaron Thursday, right on uh, yes. on your channel and on Ethan's channel, yep. we're gonna do a big Wraith of God, love. Wraith Two Electric Boogaloo. Thing. Yep, the Wrath of Boogaloo. Uh, is that tomorrow or Thursday? Or something? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. What well, what time is that gonna start, Aaron? Uh well officially at three unless I started earlier which I may start it earlier Pacific three your three time Pacific well yeah three Pacific six Eastern is the official start date but our time but that could go a little bit earlier I'll is let that you know be on your channel football, or on football season starts for us that night uh, the Buffalo on Thursday Bills, night Buffalo Bills uh, opening opening game is that night they're playing oh, the Rams geez, right I, well yeah. playing the Rams well I mean so I'll come in before before the game starts. Same uh, here. And, uh, oh man, see, I miss so many hockey games. Give you in support these shows. Yeah, I'm glad it's. A, I'm actually, I'm glad you're starting at six because <clears throat> my daughter loves watching the opening game. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to bug out too. But I'll well, be there. Thing, is that gonna be on Ethan's channel or on yours, Aaron? Well, it depends. It's either gonna finish up on mine really late night, or it's gonna and start on Ethan's. Or it'll start on mine and finish up on Ethan's. Uh, okay, so stay tuned. We're, well, I'm supposed to go to Ethan's at six o'clock Eastern time, but you know. If that actually happens on time, or I don't know, you never know with that stuff. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's the plan. Cool, Fragaboom. I got nothing to share. Just working on the book. Nice, you know. That's all that matters. Um, I did get some cool, something cool in the mail today. Uh, Dave Finch. Oh, I should be getting mine soon. Then oh, nice. I know. I saw your name in the backer. Uh, this was Dave Finch. Every Monday night on his YouTube channel, he was doing these live drawings, right? And he was during like, COVID. Kind of, during COVID, it was called Monday Night Draw. I didn't even hear but, about this. Yeah, it, it was, was on Kickstarter. Is my name in there, Dan? I think I backed that, but I can't. Uh, I didn't see your name. No. Oh, okay, I was, maybe I didn't. My I name was, there? Nope. Nope. No, no, no. I, I saw that. Andy's, but yeah, he. Uh, it's it's basically a book of all of the Monday Night sketches that he did for uh for that year. Uh, wow. Kind of cool because you can actually watch, you know, go back on his YouTube channel and watch them all get drawn. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, so he he put it out and it, it came out today. I'm not sure if it's on like I know it was on Kickstarter. I'm not sure if it's in uh, in demand or anything like that. But yeah, I don't um, know. And then of course I want to uh, take time to uh, plug my buddy Patrick Parnell's Last of the Seekers. His campaign is on both uh, Indiegogo and Kickstarter. Uh, he wanted to try a little experiment, a la Tucci. Tucci is our trailblazer. He's leading the way in in uh, you know marketing and. It, it was interesting hearing um, Patrick's take on Kickstarter because he was at this place called BotCon and he was telling people, yeah, you can check me out on Indiegogo or Kickstarter. And they're like, what's Indiegogo? And yeah. you go, holy shit, there's like a section of people that want this kind of stuff that don't even know what Indiegogo is. Mm. You know, so it's it, it gets a little crazy because, you know, obviously there's some some. Uh, <coughs> some things to be discussed, but, uh, I I'm, I'm, I'm all open for, uh, multiple markets because at the end yeah. of the day, we want, we want our, our, uh, our stories and our creations to get into people's hands. Uh, that's why we do this, right. You know, uh, I know I do it to create the excitement that I get when I get new books, uh, sketchbooks, whatever I get super stoked and knowing, uh, that feeling can get out to as many people as possible is, is the way. So if you get a chance, uh, there you go. Oh, good. Thank you, Sheldon. Thank yep, you. I think that's right. Yeah. Cool. So that's how, that's what I have to share. Teen sensation, Billy Tucci. Um, I'm basically I'm in the inking stage of my Rocketeer book for IDW for all the all the benefits are. It's Beautiful. still really rough. Oh, um, nice. I just started just laying down the figures. Um, they're all uh all the benefits go to the refugees. And if you heard me say F during the show, I dropped my pen. Oh no! Oh, it, looked like shooting, it looked like he's shooting a missile at him. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, a I know. I know. Yeah. It kind of looks right, right? It looks like the right trajectory. <laughs> no, it was a mistake. So here's my little 
Rocket hey, a little razor blade, you could scrape that right off. If I'm going to hit it with my uh, acrylic white paint. There you go. Just cover yeah. it up. There I got go. a lot of it I got to do. It's it's a mess. This this is driving me nuts. Presto, yeah, that's, the, that's uh, my jam, this, dude. The back yep. of his helmet. Like, Presto. This drives me nuts. Oh, to get, yeah. To get his helmet, you know, the right lines and all, and I'm just like, I'm just driving myself crazy. Oh, I hear you. I I've got a... Does that work? Draft, oh, the Reckoning. The, yeah, the Presto is good. Core Draft, The Reckoning. The link is in it. All the links are in the description below. Uh, sign up is still open. Launching on Monday night. Uh, the tw this Monday the 12th on the Kings. So be there for that. Prater asked. He said he'd love to see a black and white of Core Draft. Well, yeah, I'm doing one. It's an uh, oversized hardcover. Called uh, black, right, black, white, and raw. Scanned from the original artwork. Perfect. In full color. So there will yeah. be an oversized hardcover available. So, and of course, the T-shirt. Oh, the T-shirts so are so good, man. It's so metal. Yeah. Thank you. Looks like yeah, a rock they do a great job. And uh, last but not least, the Bud Root variant cover. Oh, so, saucy. Uh, mm. so, so saucy. Bud Root and Dan Lawless. So uh, please sign up for that now. And if you sign up and back to campaign, of course, you get the Lil Enough mm. limited edition trading cards. So. Mm. There Ooh. you go. Ooh. And uh, the last thing I'm gonna going to pimp, I'm doing a little fraga. A uh, buddy of ours, uh, Bart Sears, has his sign-up page up for his third uh, drawing book, Drawing Powerful Heroes oh, 3, sweet. the splash page. Uh, if you sign up, you get two free <clears throat> trading cards. I'll pop the link. That's the one I forgot to put in, so I'm going to pop it right now, right there in the chat. So if you're interested in drawing, uh, learn from a master, and uh, go sign up now, and you'll get uh, uh, two free trading cards from his. So, And the best part of Facebook Yeet. right now is uh, Bart posting his work in progress drawings. Oh, my gosh. So mm -hmm. good. Yep. Yeah, he's uh, he's trying to spread the word as much as he can about this. So, and I believe he's launching it uh, the beginning of November. He's going to leave the sign up up for two months. So, Excellent. so there you go. Get signed up, folks. Yep, there you go. And uh, everybody, thank you for joining for uh, movie night. Oodles of do. I have that book too. I have it. I yes. bought it in person. Oh, I backed it. So, thank you guys. But everybody, thank you for joining us tonight for a little fun movie night. Next week it is on Arts Channel. Oh, oh, and we're gonna do we're gonna do crazy deadlines, like our most insane deadlines. Things like just extreme things that we had to do to make the deadline. Mm -hmm. And I got a few crazy stories. So this I is bet you, you do. do. Yeah. And they involve and blowing be, fatties. So like most we've had to do in one sitting. Well, it could be anything. It could be, okay. you know, like like the most uh, work that you've done in in a in a you know a short period of time, or just like with with me, like trying to get the uh, the pages to the post. You oh know? yeah, I mean, those are oh yeah, fighting FedEx. Yeah, like like I, I remember. Oh, just God. this isn't going to be part of it, but I remember you figure out where all the FedEx drop-offs are and they're all at different yep. times. So the one closest to your house is usually this time. Then you learn that the one further out in the next community over is later and so on and so forth. Just all kinds of stuff like that. I think it'll be a lot of fun just sharing this and just <laughs> seeing the extremes that we used to go through. Dude, to make yep. yeah. I did the FedEx chase with Liefeld before. Yeah. You know that it's uh it's interesting. We used to have like at the at the uh the uh what was it La Palma? Remember that studio, uh, Frega? Yeah, yeah. We used to have one of the guys go out there and kind of sweet talk the FedEx lady uh, to kind of keep her like for about five minutes. And sometimes while we were running out, we would be doing the black, <laughs> like filling stuff in as we're running out to the truck and things. <laughs> yeah, some some good good crazy times. The yeah. scary thing is, is that we actually sent all that original art in the mail. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you're like, now when someone buys an original art, I'm like, are you going to be at any show so I can hand it to you? I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Save some postage? Yeah. yeah. Were you just terrified it's going to get lost? No, I was just, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mailed out the original to the uh, first man parody ad from the last campaign. You know, the guy paid two grand for it. And I'm like, 
I got to mail this? <laughs> I, I FedEx that sucker overnight to him. I was like, it's getting there. <laughs> I'm doing it that way. Yeah. yeah so. annoyed. We did that with the guy who bought I Sell My Rough Cut, all the yeah. roughs, as one book for five grand with the cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy who bought it was in London. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> Make sure you get the so, insurance. Uh, we had a FedEx to him, and that, that, was, that wasn't cheap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the with, insurance uh, is expensive. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you for joining. Next week, Arts Channel. This Thursday, Aaron's launching Wraith of God. Saturday, Rainey's launching Fiendish 2. Monday, Cordrath. Bye.